talking to? You know I had to drop a track for my boy. Where you at? Yeah, I'm in your rap, the boys out here telling fake. I'm the hardest my nigga, I ain't trying to no late. Hey, Bruce Gas with the number fights on the table. I'm uh, calling that box since Kane versus A. Smoke as much gas, you would think that she was fake. I'm the people sampling, I'm an elite. Shut up, shut up. Bruce Gas, one day we gon' meet. Yeah, we gon' blow it down, we gon' smoke hella weed. Yeah, we gon' blow it down, take a hit out the token too. Slipping hella shots, feel like Tyson with the people. A little glock on my side, but it hit just like the crew. Shut up, man, she ain't real shit, that's my fucking dude. We always cooking on the pan. Strap to my side, and I ain't talking about no sandwich. Bruce passed me the blunt, I'ma light it like a candle. Hey, non stop bars, man, I always spit flames. Feel like Bruce Gillis always got a different strain. Bitch, you ain't like me, you could never feel my pain. You win and you lose, well, this a fight game. Don't beef on the net and the shit won't change. Said that on the street, you gotta do it for the game. Said that on the street, you gotta do it for the champ. I ain't undisputed. Yeah, hold on, I ain't undisputed, but I want all the straps. Loose gas, boxing, jazz, and more. Stoic slugger. Thanks for stopping in here, brother. WrestleMania just began. The pre-show just ended. And um, I'm a boxing man. You guys all know that, man. Bruce Gas, boxing, jazz, and more. One of the mores is professional wrestling. I've been watching this since, uh, oh, probably 1963 or 1962 or something like that when I was playing in the mud puddles with my friend JR. God rest his soul. We were watching Bruno San Martino and Dominic Benucci and Killer Kowalski and I mean, the original George the Animal Steel. It was wild times, and, and, and tonight, man, this is this is the Mecca. This is WrestleMania. Ghost, my bro. Salute, man. Daniel Berry. How are we doing, brother? You know, um, I've been watching wrestling forever. I don't watch it much anymore. In fact, I haven't sat down and watched the whole Raw or SmackDown or, you know, or, um, or, or any wrestling show in, in a long time. But when it comes to WrestleMania, bro, I'm going to watch it, and it's like I never missed a beat. Some of the names have changed, and some of the faces have retired. But man, I'll tell you, we have uh, we have uh, some people who put their, their ass on the line. And tonight they're in Philadelphia. They're out there, and uh, it's about 60 degrees and dropping. They're wrestling in their underwear out there at, at the um, Lincoln Financial Financial Stadium. Probably holds about. I think it's holding about 70,000 people. Muhammad Ali is him. Go stone stock that over here, bro. I'll block you, man. I don't block anybody. There's not one person blocked on my channel, but I love Muhammad Ali as much as I love my dad. So don't don't fucking come in here and, 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 and crash on Ali, especially not tonight, bro. This is WrestleMania night. Muhammad Ali was just inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame on Friday night. Hey, BNN Boxing, my brother. Salute, man. Salute. And uh, wrestling is the thing. Wrestling is the thing. You know, we don't we don't block anybody, we don't time anybody out, and that's why I give you all wrenches so you can all um say what you want to say. But uh Muhammad Ali, bro, don't, don't hit too close to home. I, I may have to uh may have to break the rules here. In wrestling, WrestleMania is a crazy time. I remember the first one, and this is weird. They're calling this WrestleMania 40. And um the first WrestleMania was in 1985, and I remember it, man. I, I I remember 1985 oh too well, oh too well. It was a very, um, a very, very uh, a different year, so to speak, in my life. But anyway, man, this is this is this is 24, this is 2022. In, in 1985, that means next year, 2025 will be 40 years. But they call this WrestleMania 40. I don't know, man. Maybe they're gonna say they had two during the pandemic or something like that, or it's it's the fortieth showing, but the thirty ninth year. You know, you know how how uh, how the, the truth in the WWE is 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 uh, is meant to fit our, our our product over here, man.
and I'm definitely getting myself in a good mood for this, bro. I don't even know what the matches are today. I'm gonna have to look them up in a second. I'll go and, uh, and scan them on one of my one of my screens over here. But I know I know the main event. We're gonna have um, either Roman Reigns or, uh, or, the, or, or, the, or the other cat. What the hell's his name? Fuck, man, I can't think of it right now. It's, it's funny because I, I I talk so fast that I, I can't. Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins is the name I was trying to think of. They both the, they both the champs now. I guess you know the WWE in the last. Um, in the last couple of decades, they've had the SmackDown champ and the Raw champ. And, in some, and a lot of times at WrestleMania, they'll go against each other. But uh, I, don't, I don't know what they're going to do tonight. Last night, they were in a weird tag team match. Brock is back again. Roman Reigns, the, the, the head of the table. I mean, they're really, the Samoan people are really, they're, they're really playing on the Samoan heritage. But I see Logan Paul is going to be in this, man. I see Kevin Owens. I mean, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a full a full card. It's WrestleMania, bro. This is this is uh this is Ali Frazier. This is the Rumble in the Jungle. As far as it, it can go for professional wrestling, this is this is the night, man. This is the hallowed halls. Swag on my brother. What's up, man? Bro. Oh, pigeon, my man. <laughs> pigeon. You know, you come in here and you and you give me a thumbs up and you, you sub to me, but then but then they find out it's you and they and they, and they take away the uh, the credits. But man, they, they show in the field seventy thousand people. It's huge. Could boxing fill an arena like that, man? Could could they go out and fill a fill a, a football stadium? Then then then, then put another another fucking ten twenty thousand on the floor. I mean, this is uh this is big here. They're showing um. Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre is another one, man. They brought him back. They brought him in a few years ago. He was supposed to be the uh, the, the, the second coming. What, what did they call him? The uh, the golden child, promised one. They they had big plans for him. He screwed up. He, he got uh, he got bounced out. And he's back in it again. And Vince McMahon. That's a that's a, that's another crazy one. How can you how can you not? Uh, I don't know. I, I'm not gonna say love Vince McMahon because just. This this guy's this guy's off his rocker. This guy, I don't know if you've been reading the, the shit that's been going, going on with him, where one of his personal assistants, there was a uh, there was a big um a big sex scandal going on, and Vince is a cool Vince, Vince is kinky. I mean Vince is playing the scat parties, he's doing all kind of crazy shit with this with this um, intern that then he, he uh, settled it out of court, didn't pay her, she went public on it, Vince had to resign. I mean, it's a whole different, the whole different thing right now, and they're showing out. See who's singing the national anthem. That's always, it's always pretty, pretty big in the, uh, in, uh, at WrestleMania, and I always like a good national anthem too. See, I'm not, I'm not hip on the, the music today, man. The voice sounds familiar, but I don't know exactly who it is singing. I'll I'll know soon. I'll know when I when I see his name come up. But uh, but the dude's definitely got the chops going on. I was gonna say it looks like Aretha, but Aretha's dead. De Niro, my brother, what's up here? Carlos Mendoza, the winner of the first inaugural. Boxing trivia. Salute, my brother. Hey, Romeo, man. Thanks, my brother. You know I'm going to take some hits of fresh air tonight. And they show they are Camp Walker in, in South Africa, man. They are, uh, WrestleMania is being shown there. They're showing the troops on their feet for the national anthem. And they're showing that stadium, and that is huge. I mean, it's definitely people that are out out to see a wrestling match out in the, uh, out in the open, in an open stadium at the beginning of April. They definitely have to have some serious, uh, they're serious fans. But I mean, you know, last night was the, uh, the they, they do a two night WrestleMania. Yes, I will, Sam. In fact, I'm gonna bring my dog and make sure he stares right into it also. So we get that embedded, you know, you. You're busting pigeons balls for needing glasses, man. I'll need Coke bottles before the day's over tomorrow. 
the capacity Carlos, I, I think it's seventy thousand. I'm gonna find out right now. I'll, I'll ask I'll ask the old lady in the uh, in the phone here. Yeah, reminded me ready to start. I know that. How many people at WrestleMania tonight? Yes, you do, pigeon. Let's see, man. Let's see. No, no, they're showing Arlington and stuff. I want to know tonight. How many people are attending WrestleMania tonight in Philadelphia? 77,900. 72,500 fans are in attendance on Saturday. So they're expecting 77,900. Man, a lot of people. Over 70,000. Crazy, huh? I couldn't even think of, of, of putting on a boxing card that would, that would bring that many people in. You know, the promoters have to they have to start using their head because um, boxing as it is today, it's just not going to work out. Fighters are in it for the big payday. Uh, people aren't going to be buying that big payday when you can get it for free. And the fighters aren't earning that big payday. They're not fighting often enough. These wrestlers, man, everybody knows who these wrestlers are. No, it's not at the Spectrum, bro. This is at um, this is at uh, Lincoln Financial Center. That's where the um, that's where the Eagles play, bro. You know, and and I got to talk to Tim Witherspoon because they they got all the celebrities at ringside, and there isn't much of a there isn't much of a bigger celebrity in Philadelphia than, than Tim Witherspoon, bro. Two time heavyweight champ. They're bringing out all these um all the local legends, and um, you know, Tim could have had himself a nice little payday. I didn't even know this was in Philadelphia until I saw it last night. And they're showing Stephanie in the ring, man. And Stephanie, like all the rest of us, has got some some uh, marks on her face. She's she does not look like that fresh little Stephanie McMahon did back in the um, back in the Attitude Era. I think Stone Cold put her over his knee and spanked her butt. And uh, I mean, she got the implant. Stephanie was was a wild child. Married Triple H had had three daughters. Well, tonight we're not even watching any boxing whatsoever. Sadly, you know, last night there was a there was a decent fight on. I only caught highlights of it. I saw a little bit of it this morning, and it was a um the, the Richardson Richardson Hutchins, strange name. But anyway, man, I thought that I thought the dude from um, Argentina. I, I thought he I thought he uh, he pulled it out, man. It was it was a tough fight. I like slugging I like slugging action more. But, um, they're all, they're all talking about that today. And right now, we're at WrestleMania. Stephanie's there. And, and I gotta say, man, the uh, they had the um they had the uh Hall of Fame, I think it was in Toronto. And then the next day, man, all these cats are in Philadelphia. This is this is a schedule. This is about the craziest schedule in the world of professional wrestling. 300, 300 days of a year on the road. I mean it's it's crazy. Oh, I see the Legion of Bagpipes, so it's gotta be um it's gotta be Drew McIntyre. But anyway, I'm I'm setting up a uh, a really good trivia game. Carlos will be defending his title. And that's gonna be on Friday night. I'm putting together 50 questions and I'm gonna make some real hard ones too, man. I'm not gonna make it as easy. I'm gonna make some uh Block me, it's okay. I'm not gonna block anybody here, bro. You can you can block yourself. I need the views, man. I need the watch hours. I need the super chats. I need everything that's going on being a uh, YouTube celebrity. So we don't block here, man. We don't rock, we just roll. Wow, what a huge, huge stadium. I can only imagine a, a, a boxing uh, match being being uh, being put down before this 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 amount of people. Yet yeah, Drew McIntyre is coming out there. The first match on Sunday edition of WrestleMania. And we'll see who Drew's going to take on. You know, he's got like a herd of um, of Irish uh, warriors. He's got the bagpipers and he's got the two the two uh, two dudes with the big swords. One's got a mask on, so he's probably a, a former wrestler, probably a, either a former or current. But Drew McIntyre in the first uh, in the opening bout. I thought he was going for a world title here. This could be a title fight. I, I, 
I'm not the wrestling fan I used to be, but it's a it's a party night. I'd be watching it anyway. I usually do the OG show on Sunday night. I'm kind of sorry I missed that, but you know, for, for once once a year we can make that pilgrimage to WrestleMania. And yeah, Drew is walking down the aisle, man. He's under the uh, under the parade of swords, kind of like you do at a um, wedding for Navy SEALs and Marines. He's got the color guard there. Been a lot of WrestleManias that I've seen, man. Arrow the Truths. Hey, bro, how you doing, man? I haven't seen you in a while, man. Salute, day. It's WrestleMania Sunday here, man. It comes on once a year. It's been going on for the past 40 years, man. I remember the first one driving by the Providence Civic Center. I uh, I didn't go see it. it was, you had to go see it on closed circuit. But the WWE WWE wrestler. Oh, man. You know, I'd have to think about that, Carlos. I, I'm, a, I'm a Bruno San Martino fan. I watch Bruno so much, man. He's doing so many things. But the first WrestleMania... Even the, the cable company that I had, Full Channel, they weren't offering it to you because it, you know it was the first one, and they had uh, you know they were selling it on um, on pay per view. But the company, the company that I had, and I had a black box. They, it wasn't coming in over the air. They weren't offering it, and I was kind. Of, it was a bad time for me. I didn't have the extra dough. I didn't even want to see it. To be honest with you. But anyway, I came home and I tried to get it to the black box, and it was it was coming in, but it was really it was uh, it was a. Uh, 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 a bunch of sand. It was, it was a crummy picture, and I could just just make out the stuff, and you could just hear it. And it was like really bad, really bad. But, uh, but but you could understand it. Jesse the body was at ringside with uh, Vince and Mean Gene Oakland, and it was uh, Rowdy Roddy Piper and uh, Cowboy Bob Orton and Mr. Wonderful against. Uh, Hulk Hogan, Mr. T, and Superfly Jimmy Snooker. Muhammad Ali was the referee. Uh, I mean, it was it was awesome. Ray Charles sang the, the national anthem, just like the, at the Sugar Ray Leonard. It was at Madison Square Garden. Now it's like got huge, huge, huger. And um, you know, 61 degrees. I guess that's tolerable if you're under those those lights. But I mean, still, you gotta you gotta be hardcore to be out there doing this in the in the cold. <laughs> Absolutely. And I got some, like I said earlier, I got some bubble hash that my, my, my G gave me when he came and fixed my computer. And a couple of bugs that he left off too. So I'm going to, I'm hitting on that right now. I got the vape over here. I got some, some diamonds I can hit on later, but everything's going well. And let's see, I get, it looks like a, uh, a Mardi Gras band here, man. Absolutely a Mardi Gras band. The Zydeco, you got the banjo, the, the accordions. Don't know exactly who this is for, but man, I mean, they're out in full force over here. Who's that? Is that Mr. P out there, bro? I know, I know they, they shut you down earlier. I was, I was watching a little bit of you, and they turned you back on again. Hey, you gotta be careful playing the YouTube blues. They, they, they went back and stuff that I did a year ago. They're, they're telling me that it's um that it's uh, it can't be shown in certain countries and. Um, and I don't have any any monetary rights. In fact, I don't have any monetary rights to anything in this fucking video, believe me. But um, you know, YouTube is uh they're they're, they're weed unfriendly for some reason. I don't know why. I'm not getting an echo on my microphone, am I? Does it sound like I'm in like a tunnel or something like that? Hey, Soul Rebel, what's up, my bra? I'm trying to see who this is even head who this is headed for the ring right now, but it's like a huge uh Huge entourage. I mean, this is like fucking 50 people in the entourage. And I can't even see who they're, who they're repping for over here. So, yeah, it's, a, it's um, it's what's his face, man. Roman Reigns is an old tag team partner. Seth Rollins. Seth is a, Seth is the, uh, I think he's the Raw champion. Oh, he's in the snack. I don't know. We'll find out in a second. But yes, that's Rollins against um against the big Scotsman. They really go out for WrestleMania, man. 
I think I said, I think I, think I, think I 50 people over here in uh, the accordions, dressed up for Mardi Gras, saxophones. I'm surprised there's no xylophone in there, but they got some, they got, they got to be all fucked up. Maybe they're on ayahuasca. Got to be. And they're, um, Rollins in the ring, man. Yeah, for some reason, they pig like Rollins. Rollins, um, Rollins has is, is been wearing uh, wearing the gold belt since he's since come to the WWE. What was that film? The name of the trio that he came with? Uh, uh, shit, man. I'll think of it in a second. It's him, Roman Reigns, and uh, and Dean Ambrose. The Shield. The Shield. That's who it was. But this this will be an interesting match. Um, yesterday they were saying how um, Seth Rollins had blown out his knee. Can I get a top ten of five greatest fighters ever? Not not right now. You can't show Rebel. But I, I could I could put anybody could put a whistle like that together, man. That's uh that's all that's all subjective. But today, man, the top the top five wrestlers, I don't know, man. It's all about the WWE right now. I can't you know, I can believe because I know how many people attend WrestleMania, but it's fucking in Philadelphia, a northeastern city, you would figure they'd have this in like they usually have it in Southern California. You know, somewhere where it's warm down in Florida, man, you know. But at the, in Philadelphia, it's cold. Yeah, you know, Witherspoon would have been a celebrity at ringside here. He would have made a nice chunk of change, and he would have gotten some more some more um, notoriety. And they've got this new, this new ring announcer, too. I can't even remember her name. Tracy, Tracy something or other. But she's passionate about it. You know, she's like another Mike, a female Michael Buffer. She's a, uh, like a mean Gene Oakland. Yeah, Iron Claw's a very, very decent, cool movie, bro. Seth Rollins. Is he going to lose his title at WrestleMania? See, that's the thing, man. WrestleMania, no belts are safe. No titles are safe, man. Upsets happen. Yeah, see, she's she's getting into it. She's doing her. I should be. I should even. Be, I should be listening to it. But um, Seth Rollins. I mean, she just is so so passionate about it. Samantha. Is it Samantha? I'll find out in a second. Yeah, see, and that's the thing that they're saying about this man. Is they're talking about how the, uh, how, oh, Seth Rollins is coming out with that Claymore kick. I mean, um, Drew McIntyre nails Seth Rollins with that Claymore kick. Almost, uh, almost had one of these uh, 60 second endings to a match. He's setting them up again now, man. If he lands this, it could be all over. I don't see how this is going to happen at WrestleMania. Seth Rollins is rolling out of that ring, bro. He doesn't want to hear it, man. Drew McIntyre wants to win himself a title. Oh, and he's gone for that bad knee that they were talking about last night. Seth Seth Rollins is uh, uh you know you, you know how they you know wrestling man. We're not gonna tell you anything about the uh, legitimacy of it, but wow, he just gave him a belly to belly suplex on the outside of the ring, and uh and that's gonna that's gonna hurt. You 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 land on your back a three foot drop and you're on your back. Seth Rollins taking a selfie at ringside with a couple of um, a couple of millennials. Who blocked you, Ghost? Not I, man. I don't block anybody. Like I said, not unless you're not unless you're some kind of a, a pervert or something up here, man. or a chomo or, or or something nasty that that's offensive to the rest of us. Aside from that, man, this is America. I honor the First Amendment. The set just spins on. The set has got that. He's got that. Um, that police tape on his back. That's uh, 
that's a, a tape that has some uh, menthol in it and um you know it, it, it gives you a little, a little warmth and numbing to, to some uh, arthritical joints or or a, a sprained back or something but it's uh it's definitely not the end all be all not a kid i've got a couple of rules of it i've had and uh Seth Rollins going for a cover. McIntyre kicks out. Rollins is favoring that knee, man. We're going to see a title change hands. A good snap there. What was uh, what's this prime water that they're that they are advertising? Is that like um, is that like a, a special super water, super hydration? Oh, Seth Mac Seth McIntyre just tossed um, just tossed Seth Rollins, gave him a backdrop. He must have went three feet higher than than Drew McIntyre's shoulder. I mean, these guys definitely WrestleMania. They ain't, they ain't pulling no punches. They're gonna take a little extra whack. They're gonna they're gonna take that bump harder. They're gonna sell those shots. You know they're gonna give you they're gonna give you that a decent a decent uh, a decent show. They get a nice paycheck after this too. This is a little a little extra from from what I understand from people in the business. They get a little envelope after WrestleMania, a little bonus. You can, I mean, dude, you can just, uh, you can see all the people in there, 70,000 people. What do you think, an average price, 50 bucks? Do the math. What is that, 1.5 million at the gate? A neck breaker, a neck breaker by Drew McIntyre. They're, both of these guys are laid out on their back. Alonzo, what's up, brother? How you doing, man? Good to see you in here, Alonzo. I better give you a wrench before somebody blocks you, bro. There you go, Alonzo. Now you're safe. Say what you want. Nobody will be fucking with you in here. Oh, my stream just froze and unfroze. Beautiful, man. Anybody wants to watch this, go to strikeout.ic. It's coming in perfect. The sun is just going down over Philadelphia. Drew looks like he's setting them up, getting ready for that Claymore kick. Giving it the old. <laughs> and then the hand is up three times. The fans are going nuts. Oh, Seth Rollins catches him, gives him a power slam. He's got him up. He's getting ready for the um, the pedigree. And he goes on his knee. He nails him with a semi good pedigree. Now Seth Rollins wants him to get up. Seth Rollins is going to end his finisher. The curb stomp. Oh, he nails Drew with a curb stomp. Oh, my goodness. Getting ready for the pin. One, two. Oh, Drew kicks out at two and three quarters. What a fucking match, man. I'm biting my fingernails off over here. Drew McIntyre and Seth Rollins for the, what is this, Alonzo? The SmackDown or the or the uh, the Raw title? I'm not sure, bro. That curb stomp, that's a devastating move. <laughs> McIntyre, he kind of put his hand out before he took it. I've seen um, uh, John Cena used to take that like a pro, bro. He whacked that fucking head right off the mat when, when Drew nailed him with the uh, when, uh, Seth nailed him with that curb stomp. But they're back in they're back in uh, in a neutral position here. Both of them getting back to their feet after that ex after that extraordinary exchange of moves. McIntyre still laying on the mat. Seth Rollins looks like he might be going to the top rope. He's got a bad knee and he's going to the top rope. That makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Not stopping him at all, though. Does he want to give him a giant curb stomp from the top rope? Could be. Could be, man. Seth is, yep. It's, <laughs> no, he just misses. He gets out of the way. McIntyre tries to claim more and misses. Another, another uh, missed curb stomp. McIntyre is getting with a Kind of like a, a double, double DDT I'm going for the pin. Oh, he just McIntyre he kicks out. Hey, Ted, Teddy Boxing, man. Salute, bro. Thank you. Thank you so much for the uh 
Thank you so much for the super chat. The 20 pounds. Appreciate that, man. Pigeon, I blocked you, ghost, because you scum. What rep is CDB now? Drop boost for <laughs> you. didn't block him in here, Pigeon, did you? Unblock him. Come on, man. I don't want to block anybody in here. And I'm not on, uh, I'm not, I, I don't even see who, who he got blocked. But we'll, we'll definitely celebrate that uh, that 20 spot, man. Thank you, bro. I'll cop myself uh, uh, an eighth of some primo stuff with that this week when I go see my my dispensary uh, people. Oh, McIntyre looks like he wants to put Seth Rollins to sleep. When he, when he goes like that, what's the move that he, that he uses? Because I know that CM Punk has got that, um, it's got that, that punk drop, whatever the hell it is. And McIntyre's picking him up. He's got him in a fireman's carry. And Rollins holds on. He dresses the move almost for the pin. These guys are showing a little bit of wrestling here. The Claymore kick floors Seth Rollins. McIntyre get the pin. Oh, he kicks out at two. My God, man, this fucking title is like did 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 did. You think boxing is good, bro? You gotta check out WrestleMania. Sponsored by Snickers. You see the new Snickers protein bar? Anybody buys one of those, man? They're definitely uh, they're definitely not on a on a decent eating agenda. They've been watching way too much, way too many GNC commercials. But um. Well, anyway, let's get back to the match here. And I got to pull out another one. We're a little break in the action. Let's see what I can find here. Smoking a lot of weed during this uh, this WrestleMania. Drew McIntyre is doing the old stripping down of the announcer's table. Throws those monitors around like they're garbage. One swoop, whoop, takes out about three monitors, microphones. CM Punk is sitting there. Sitting behind. CM Punk got the broken arm, so he can't get involved in it. And who's the other one? Cody, uh, Cody, uh, whatever. I can't remember his fucking last name. Former wrestler, got hurt. Is a great announcer now. Oh, McIntyre's got Rollins up. He wants to slam him through the table. Rollins kicks out of it, smashes him in the head a couple of times. They're going at it on top of the ring announcer's table. Rollins is holding that knee, smashing, smashing fucking McIntyre's face, gives him a super kick. In the chops, the bell is, is right. The belt is right there, man. Showing the uh, the winner of this match is walking out as a world champion. And we've got uh, we've got Seth Rollins at that ringside. Seth Rollins and Drew McIntyre going back and forth. They're now back in the ring. Boom, a claymore kick lays out Seth Rollins. McIntyre goes for the pin. One, two, three, two and three quarters. You don't know how close this is coming to three, man. That referee's got to be. Gotta be good, man. He's gotta be good. Throw a couple of bugs on this tray. Empty out this sucker. See, man? No more. That $20 uh, super chat will, will fill this up for me this week. Much thanks. Much appreciation. McIntyre, once again, getting up. Looks like he's getting ready to unload with that Claymore kick. Oh, man, that Claymore kick. Is, you, know, you don't want to call it a drop kick because everybody does a drop kick. He just won it. Drew McIntyre just won the title, man. Seth, Seth Rollins just lost the world championship, man. The title just changed hands at WrestleMania. Drew McIntyre has become a world champion. Hey, JD, man. Solo brother. Thank you much for coming in here. Appreciate it. I get you, De Niro. I, that's because I stream it, man. You know, I'm a little behind. But, uh, hey. I take it for what it is, man. I appreciate you coming in here. I'll tell you though, Drew McIntyre. See, these guys, they get them when they win a title, they get emotional and everything. Mm -hmm. They just, just make it seem they make it seem like it's so realistic. Is he gonna go and and, and uh congratulate? See, Seth is laying there. See, something's gonna go here. Is he gonna go and shake his hand? You know? Yep, yeah, that big boot, bro. That was something, man. <laughs> So you're not gonna slap no glasses out of his mouth, you know. Like I heard earlier today, it's gonna be like the the dog that finally caught the car, and then when he catches the car, he's like, well, "What am I gonna do now?" 
And look at Seth. Seth, Seth is, is, is crying at ringside. This is big. This is going to be a, a, hot, a hot breaking moment. I got a feeling they're going to. Is either going to be a rematch tomorrow? No, they're not going to shake hands. They're, um, they're definitely leaving the book open on this one. That, that devastating Claymore kick, man. Mm. We're going to see that in UFC. I guess you step out of the way and it wouldn't be very effective. But um, but the first match of WrestleMania, the world title changes hands. Appreciate that, De Niro. Thank you much, man. Some people would do that. Some people, would, you know, they think they're getting something over because they're seeing it a, a minute earlier. They, they like to like to drop them spoilers. I appreciate that, brother. But there is Drew, man. I think he was a world title, a world champion before, wasn't he? And he just didn't do anything. He did He, he, he never really, uh, never really had the, never really caught the, uh, the attention. And then he came back. He was with the big guys, with the bad man. Uh, it was like his low point. He's out there. A couple of a couple of celebrities at ringside. I don't know who they are, man. They were. You know, there's a guy that sits at ringside. He's at every match raw and every SmackDown. He wears a green shirt. Fat guy with a uh, a brown hat. And he's at every every pay per view. He's got to be a multi millionaire. And his thing is just go get golden matches, get the best seat in the house. Hey, JD, brother, muchas gracias. Thank you from the bottom of my heart, brother. I appreciate that so much. I never never thought I'd be up here saying that, man. But I guess you just keep doing this, and, and uh, pretty soon you, you 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 get monetized, and, and you get to make a couple of bucks on the side. And I appreciate that, brother. I really do, man. <laughs> The other man, Pigeon. But there he is, man. That's the, uh, he's getting his balls busted by, um, by CM Punk. I don't want to listen to it. I'd rather listen to you cats out there. And, um, it's, uh, it's, it, it's keeping up with WrestleMania, man. They always have a, uh, the titles change hands. I'm sure there's going to be some women wrestlers, and they're going to be cold out here. You may see some nips you keep your eyes open here. It's cold in Philadelphia. Everybody's got their phones out, man. That's something uh, something I saw. Never thought I'd see. Never, never couldn't believe it. But you go to a sporting event now, and people aren't listening, but they're recording it. And what's happening right now with, with, uh, with CM Punk and with, uh, and with Drew McIntyre, I'm sure they're gonna set up a little feud going on. Drew's got that title. He's happy as a pig in shit, man. And all these fucking people, seventy thousand plus people. Oh, he just got nailed. CM Punk just nailed him. That elbow, he had his arm in it. Oh, CM Punk is faking the injury, man. He had his arm in a sling. He took the brace off, and he nailed he nailed freaking Drew McIntyre with it. Now he's nailing with it again. CM Punk is destroying the new champion. He's stomping him on the outside of the ring with his leather shoes and his white socks. He's kicking him. CM Punk is back again. And look at him, man. He looks like He looks vicious. We saw CM Punk when he tried to take his hand at, at UFC. It didn't go over so well. But everybody's coming to the ring. Oh, baby, the money in the bank. They're going to they're gonna pin Drew McIntyre. He's not even going to make it one day as a champ. The dude with the money in the bank, uh, Priest. Uh, with Damian Priest, he's going to pin him right now. He's going to throw him in the center ring. Then he's going to pin Drew McIntyre. And he's got the money in the bank. And we're going to see the hand. The freaking title is going to change twice. This is not unprecedented. It's happened before. Here it comes, that huge slam. The match has started. The, the one, two, three. And now fucking Damian Priest is the champ. Oh, baby. WrestleMania is going crazy. Most people who get that money in the bank, man, most people get the money in the bank, they usually win a world title. I think, um, who was that? The one that didn't win it. The guy that, uh, he was Miz, the little Miz, Miz's sidekick. Uh, once again, his name escapes me at the second. But uh, oh, oh, baby, this that made it all worth it right there, man. 
the first half hour, awesome stuff. Damian Priest, man, I remember watching him on NXT years ago, and I said, this kid is something special. He's uh, an MMA, uh, he's, he's, he's the uh, black belt in, in many disciplines. He's huge, he's in shape, doesn't look like he's on the juice. And um, man, what's the name of his, his organization? Uh, I can't even, I can't think of, you know, see my mind is so, it's kind of shot anyway. I think I'm. I think I have the uh, the beginnings of Alzheimer's going on here somewhere, because I forget. I forget things, and they all have these little fractions, like you know, nation of domination. And he's got. Uh, he's got one there, and he's with Ray Mysterio's kid and Rhea Ripley, and and a couple of them crazy Englishmen now that are out there. See, I think like I said I haven't watched wrestling now since since last year's WrestleMania, but it's just so easy to catch on to it, man. Bob Bob Backlund, Bob Backlund, man, Bobby Backlund. That was one. He he was an awesome wrestler. I watched him so many times, man. I watched him back in the seventies, man. Bobby Backlund. Bobby Backlund was an amazing fucking wrestler. And then when he went crazy, when he um, when he had Bret Hart in the uh, what was that move that he used to have, man? It was a devastating uh, front face cradle kind of a thing, like a crucif crucifixion fit cradle. And then Bob Backlund had that on Brett the Hitman Hot, and he wouldn't release it. And he got disqualified, and he went crazy. He was looking at his hands, and that was the crazy Bob Backlund of the uh, of the eighties. The chicken wing. There you go, man. The chicken wing. Yeah, that was it, bro. That was devastating. I tried, you know, we used to, me and my boys, we always put those moves on each other. We had a, I was in a bar one night. I, I, uh, some guy was going to give me, I think it was 20 bucks. I had a guy in a figure four leg lock. And um, he said he'd get out of it. No way, 20 bucks. Oh, yeah, let me put it on you. Hey, you ain't no way you're getting out. Okay, bang, bang. Within five seconds, he was singing fucking like the Vienna Boys Choir. But anyway, man. Professional wrestling moves. Some of those are devastating. That chicken wing. I've been, I've been in it, and I've applied it. Ooh, if you put it on me now, I would die. I, my arthritis is so bad in my upper body, my shoulders. That chicken wing would fuck me right up. But I, I used to, have, I used to know a lot of them. I, used to, I could slap an Indian death lock on you. You're on your back, boom, and uh, there ain't no way out of that thing. If, if I put the pressure on, your knees are gonna pop right out. You need a wing. <laughs> I know. Chicken wings are awesome, man. When I grew up, my dad had a restaurant. And um, chicken wings, I think they were like nine cents a pound. He used to get them, and he'd, he'd just give them away. And that was the beginning of something. This Once again, I'm going back to the freaking early 70s, late 60s. And now, you know, chicken wings are like everybody wants them. But we would give, used to give them away at the bar. Fry them up, put Worcestershire sauce on them, shake them in a brown paper bag. And then just pass them out, and they were awesome. They were they were fucking tasty as hell, and and they did catch on, man. They did catch on. But yeah, the chicken wing. Like I had a restaurant back in the in the nineties, and I was even gonna call. I was gonna have chicken wings as a special. I was gonna call it Bobby Backlund's Chicken Wings. But, uh, my my, uh, my associates didn't go for that. But here we go, man. Samantha Irvin, that's her name. Samantha Irvin. And she is, uh, she's going to be the, the hottest ring announcer since Gary and Michael Capetta. And I don't know who's coming up now, but it's going to, it's, it's going to be another one of these, um, another WrestleMania quality match for sure, man. And I want to shout out to anybody who's watching this on, on Facebook, on Twitter, and on YouTube, man. Especially my YouTube fans over here, bro. I appreciate you, cats. Mr. Lightning, man. Salute, bro. Thank you much for coming by. If you're a wrestling fan, check out, check it out. If you're a wrestling fan, we know you're watching WrestleMania. And if you're not, you came to the right place. Who do we see walking down the aisle? Oh, it's Snoop Dogg, baby. Here we go, man. I'm going to definitely have a couple of fucking pokes on the G. I think he gave it up too, man. I think he's doing edibles now or something. I don't, I don't know. I don't pay attention to what's going on. But the Snoop Dogg is in the ring, baby. That 
one's for you. Now Philadelphia is not a uh, it's not a, a legal state. It wasn't when I was there a year and a half ago. It wasn't. So um, in fact, let's ask, let's ask the uh, let's ask the, the question here. Is recreational marijuana legal in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania? According to Marty Joe Snyder, recreational marijuana is not legal in Pennsylvania. Throughout the entire country, marijuana is not legal in Pennsylvania. Oh, baby, I don't know why they want to have it over there, but I, I have a tough time. It's not Snoop. Ray Dudley from the Dudley the Dudley Brothers, man. He's a referee for this next match. And I, I saw him at the uh, at the Hall of Fame. Talk about somebody who who got old. <laughs> Fucking Bubba. Get the table. Bubba Ray Dudley. Man, he looks like Carl Hansen now. Fuck. He looks like Carl with the, with the short beard. The drunk Irishman, salute day. Roland, is Roland in here? I didn't see Roland. I don't know how he got by me, bro. <laughs> Phil, you're my you're my PR man, bro. You can you can you can do the you can do the begging out there for me, brother. But Bubba Ray Dudley, man, now he's a referee. He's a referee in the WWE. Or a special guest referee anyway for this one. And who is wrestling right in this match anyway? Oh, this this is it Cross? I've seen this dude before. Terry and Cross. Devastated. This guy will hurt you. They call his group the final testament. You got this hot babe decked out in this skimpy little leather thing with all these spikes coming out of it, man. So you don't even know if you want to get near her or run away from her. But this, yeah, this Damien Cross, I, I think I read that he was a, a, a bounty hunter and, and, a, and a professional wrestler. Now, now full-time wrestling, I'm sure. Oh, the sun's going down. It's getting dark in here. I'm going to have to turn, turn the light up a little bit. I can't see the, the shit in front of me. There we go. All right, man. And the final testament. There's a bunch of them. I guess this is a this is one of the one of the new groups in here. Excuse me. And, and I'm I'm new to these guys. I've seen uh I've seen Kenny and Cross before. I saw him in NXT and maybe in AEW. I'm not sure, but I have seen him before. And he's crazy. Gin and Juice by Dre and Snoop. I guess there's a new movie coming out. If they're sponsoring WrestleMania by V and Snoop. Rolling with the punches, my brother. Thank you much for coming by, bro. Man, they illegal to smoke it, illegal to smoke weed in Pennsylvania. See, I, I remember going there with um when I went there with the Legends thing, hooked up with Tim Witherspoon Jr. And you know, I knew Tim, I, I just knew him from being online and stuff, but then I met him in the flesh. And he's like, Yeah, yeah, let's go smoke some joints. I said, It's, it's not legal in the down here, uh, Tim. And this is this is his home, his home state. And he goes, Oh no, I I talked to the I talked to the girl at the, at the hotel. She said there's a special area. And I'm like, Are you sure? And it's anyways, he goes to the desk and he says, Hey man, uh, I called you up and, and, it, and you told me there was a designated area for medical marijuana, and she looks at him like a and then I looked at him like, huh? And this was a year and a half ago. And, um, and there's, there, there still ain't no medical marijuana, no, no recreation in Pennsylvania. I mean, these, this is one of the original 13 colonies, and uh, so is Rhode Island, but uh, but way hip to it. But uh, they, they can still give you, maybe, I don't know, a citation or something. Bobby Lashley and the Street Boys. And Bobby Lashley is one of the most intimidating looking figures. Big, huge, ball-headed guy. Looked like he's a jack at a max on some juice. Okay, these the street prophets. I've seen these guys in here before. Just when I start stop watching it, these street prophets. They're from. They were in NXT. Wicked, wicked talented. One of them went to the the. Uh, they had the uh, 
the combine, the WWE combine. It's like, like an NFL combine where they test your vertical jump and your, your 40 yard dash. And uh, and the dude, damn, I can't, I can't think of his name right now. Right now, one of the street prophets, he's married to Bianca Belair. He did the highest vertical jump. I mean, it was just an amazing. It was just. I don't even want to want, want to uh, tell you the the, uh, the distances because I, I, I fuck them up anyway. But it was um it was on top. And they'll probably do this today because he does that huge splash. He jumps up. He's got to be like twelve feet in the air from the turnbuckle and lands on you. Bobby Lashley got himself a managerial ring. I don't know if that's um. Uh, that was a little Russian he used to be with. Lana. I don't know if she's with him anymore. I think they were like even married in, 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 uh, in script too. But yeah, you've got some uh, this is gonna be a war. Bubba Ray looks like a small guy here. These guys are big. Boom. One gets knocked over the tip, top turn button. They know who these guys are, so I can keep their names out there. The Street Profits and Bobby Lashley have off. We had the ring. Yep, you've got, uh, they got they're going to do this like the Dudleys, man. They got the tables at ringside, tables, ladders, and chairs. Somebody's going through a table. It's like nothing anymore. They got the uh, <coughs> the kindle sticks. I can never quite understand those kindle sticks. <coughs> I have to spit. Excuse me. Oh, whacking the shit out of with those fucking those kindles. Yeah, they have these bamboo bamboo sticks that are slivered. And they, they tape them together. They're taped together. And I guess they're, they're an ancient, uh, they're like an ancient uh, a caning, uh, you know, they have fights with them. And I guess they cane people, people who break laws with them and shit. There was a kid in, in China a few years ago. He had the public caning. Any of you guys remember that? I don't, I don't know if it was American or, or British, but they, they, they gave him the public caning. Oh, a neck breaker on a chair. Bobby Lashley is getting his ass kicked now. Carrying cross. Oh, they just this is like uh no rules, foreign objects allowed. Yep, there goes the uh the dude of the uh from uh from the street profits off the top ropes, but the uh the other team has has beaten the shit out of them with the kindle sticks. This they got smashed bamboo sticks, and bamboo is tough to break in half. No, I mean money's on the line. These guys are taking the uh, they're taking the beatings. And these are these are these are like mostly new the new uh, the newer generation of wrestlers. I'm not really familiar with with these guys as much as I am with some of the other ones that we've seen. But they're doing like oh, kind of picked them both up, did a little. Uh, Kind of like bookends in the middle, smashing them both together, going for a pin. The fraud with the Kindle stick just whacked uh, Damien. Damien Cross is that his name? I don't even know their name. Now the, the two chicks are getting into it. We got we got a cat fight going on. Oh man, these these women wrestlers, they are they are tough. They take some uh, they take some uh, beatings like the guys do here, just like the women boxers, I guess, man. Once again, they're picking up the street profits. They're doing a little meeting of the trying to smash the backs in there. Bobby Lashley prevents that from happening. Bobby Lashley uh, face plants one of the other cats, man. Lashley with a belly to back suplex on carrying. Well, 
the dude from um, the street profits just did an unbelievable jump over the top ropes to nail the uh, to nail the uh, the other team. Like I said, I don't even. I'm not even familiar with that. It looks like uh, these two guys look like um, like a couple of twins. They're this devastating tag, devastating uh, tag team champion, devastating tag team. Lashley, Lashley, uh, even when he gets when, when he gets hit, it doesn't look like he gets hurt. But Karrion Cross is in that fucking full Nelson from Bobby Lashley. That is that will kill you. This the chick just nailed Bobby Lashley, made him break the hole. I don't know what her name is, man. She just got a kick to the face by the other one. I think she hurt her back. She might have caught one of those freaking spikes on the leather chaps of hers. I mean, this is like uh this is like foxy lady girls over here. A Russian leg sweep through a table. These girls are kicking some ass. I guess one of them. A tough bastard. I'm a new JD. I, I, when did I stop watching it, man? Let, let me uh, let me let me try to get my my thoughts together. I think I stopped watching it regularly. The time for the fast is so fast. I was maybe 2015, 2016. Then it was all uh, once I get into YouTube and found out I could talk boxing. Whenever I wanted to, then it was all all fucking boxing. And tonight, WrestleMania, a special time. We have to watch. Uh, we have to watch wrestling. We're all wrestling fans today. Wrestling is my favorite sport today. The Street Profits, they got Damian. They're giving him the uh, the wishy the uh, the wishbone. The sp- oh, the, the bubble like Bubba used to do, man. The off the top ropes, the heads, the head, but right to the nuts. And fucking Bubba Ray. What's up? Oh, he got to win it. Beautiful. This is the Dudley boys, man. Now, if we could only see fucking um, Bubba Ray and uh, who was the, what was the other Dudley, man? <laughs> Bubba Ray is leading the charge here. This is the referee. He's on the side of the Speed Prophets. And um They're getting the table, man. This is this is uh Dudley Boys action going on here, man. Devon, there we go. I don't know why I couldn't remember that. Testify Devon. Devon. The little shh. Off the top rope. Oh, the, oh, the fucking gimmick boom broke that. <laughs> the table was already fucking gimmicked and they put them on and it didn't last. The thing broke before they went down. They're going to go under the rope and find another one. They're going to have to find one that wasn't fucking gimmicked yet, man. This is hilarious, bro. And then Spike Dudley, too. He didn't last too long. Oh, oh, oh. Here we go. Now they're going to have to make sure that table doesn't break. Damien Cross has had his ass kicked for by the sticks and everything else. They're gonna... Here we go. A beautiful cross body check across the table. And for the count of three, man.
The Street Profits and Bob Lee Lashley win the uh, six-man tag team match. I sent away for this stuff the other day, man. In fact, you know, it was on my email. One of these, one of these internet weed companies. That's all. That's all right, Phil. Just don't spam it too much. Thank you, brother. Yes, this is this has been a good show, bro. I'm telling you, WrestleMania. I've never seen one that that that's, that's sucked. They've all been decent. They've all been oh, that Bobby Lashley spear, devastating, and and you don't see Bobby Lashley in the role of a good guy too often either. That fucking frog splash. I mean, this dude. What what's his name again? He's Mr. Street Profits. You know, I, I can't. You know, I, I I I gotta I gotta go see somebody about this mind, this this memory of mine, because Chad Chad Dawson. I knew their names like off the top of my head two years ago, and now I can't remember their names. Dawkins and but Snoop's in the middle of the ring, celebrating with the boys. Go back there and roll himself a fatty. He's got he, he's got joint rolls. He's got stooges that just travel with him and roll the bunts. Probably a brother-in-law or something like that. That's the second match. <coughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Logan Paul. <laughs> we got Logan Paul coming up on our next match. RKO. Oh, Randy Orton. Yeah, I mean Randy. He's a he's a veteran. He's like a he's like a Hulk Hogan, like a rock on there. Any anywhere, anytime, any place, he can win a belt. What does he have? Fifteen of them already. The dude is like a, he's 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 born to wear gold. They show in the match last night. That was a pretty amazing match. The Rock. Threatened to fire because the rock's on the board now, from what I hear. I just found this out last night. The rock's on one of the one of the boards at WWE, so he can hire and fire wrestlers or referees. And he told the referee last night, if you disqualify me, you're fired. And the guy was helpless in there, <coughs> playing his part. And um Rocky and Roman Reigns, I guess they they're relatives. They're both from a, the Samoan family, from the famous um, Mayavia clan, the Ako Anoki, the Koes. But anyway, they won last night in the main event. But the Rock is, uh, you know, the Rock's a movie star now, and he's only a part time, part does a part time wrestling gigs, and um, and he's back with it now. I guess there's no movies to be made, so Rock, Rock's probably making a couple of million dollars, definitely a couple. A few million dollars to go hook up. I, I, I always want to say Vince, but uh, Vince isn't Vince isn't running the show anymore. There's a, there's a board that runs it. Triple H is part of it. He's not the final say anymore. I mean, it's way way different in the last few last few weeks than it's been forever. You know, Vince McMahon. He's uh, you you gotta Google it and and, and read the tragic fall of Vince McMahon. Paul Heyman. He was just inducted into the Hall of Fame on Friday night. And this dude, I remember watching him at ECW when he had the long hair and he was skinny. And uh, <laughs> I said, man, he, he must have liked his pasta. He didn't push that plate away. He must have, he must be double, 
must be triple what he was back in that back when he wrestled. When he, not when he wrestled, but when he was a, a manager in, in ECW. He must have been about a buck seventy-five. And now he's yeah, he's probably about damn, I don't even know. I don't have a scale, but but he let himself go. Pigeon. The old, all the old ladies like me. I don't know why. I like them too, though. Bro. You know, they're showing me the, uh, the, the games that they have. The swing game. I never played a video game in my life, and I want to get one of these boxing games because I see them and they're so realistic. I see some of these people have them on their, they do them on their shows. And they, just, they just play these fights. And they'll put like a triple G against Floyd Mayweather. And then you can make these fantasy matchups. Man, it looks like so much fun. But like I said, man, that's not my generation. I never played it. I never owned a, a, a game. I never even played one. So, video game. Right? But I watched to one of these days. Maybe be Maybe that'll be on my bucket list. But I want I, the wrestling is great, man. I think I said earlier, I followed this sport since the early 60s. I used to watch the old fucking WWF Saturday morning. It was a ritual. It's the only time you see it. Who's this guy, LA Knight? This, this is a newcomer. I never saw him before. I've seen him before, but never when I was following wrestling. I catch him when I, you know, trolling around the pay-per-views and see him on there. I don't know, man. I guess he must must be like some uh, some guy that came around. I don't know where he came from. He's not huge. Doesn't look like he has any super fantastic moves. I guess he's got a lot of mic skills. Maybe he does. He's probably going to be around tonight, so we'll see what he's got, what he's all about. And who knows? <clears throat> maybe, he'll, maybe he'll prove entertaining. People are waiting for the fourth match or so to start. Yeah, the third match to start this year, too. And they drag they dragged the hell out of us. Man. <coughs> Quattro, salute. Ah, you know. I don't watch it that much, bro. And I, 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 uh, I was entertained. I, I give it that much credit. It entertained me. I ain't gonna judge it. You know, I've seen every WrestleMania. It wasn't one that I missed. And and uh, I stated earlier, I didn't see WrestleMania one, but I caught it with, with my black box and, and the shitty signal because it wasn't coming through my cable company. I did, I did see it, and I, and I knew what happened when it happened. I saw the ending and stuff like that. But um, a girl that I knew sent me a VCR of WrestleMania. Her father owned a owned a, uh, a place that sold VCRs. And back back in the uh, back in the um, the eighties, VCRs were expensive. I guess they, and they repaired them and stuff like that. But anyway, she ended up sending me the WrestleMania on VCR tape, so I had it, and people would borrow it and stuff like that. It was a big thing back then. Watch it, see it again, see the whole thing. The first match of WrestleMania, I'll never forget. I'll never forget it as long as I live. If anybody out there can tell me the first match, WrestleMania won. And if you can tell me who the, who who that match was between, I will send you a prize. Hey, Nordic Warrior, what's up, bro? Good to see you in here, my man. Thank you much for stopping by on a Sunday evening. WrestleMania. That's what's happening tonight over here, my bro. Does anybody besides me know who was in the first match at, at WrestleMania? And it was a world record. It only lasted, I think it lasted 15 seconds or five seconds or something like that. It was like so quick. And it was. There we go. JD's got it right. King Kong Bundy. And who was the and who was the opponent? Come on, there's, a, there's an OG out there, bro. King Kong Bundy, he used to say, 
He'd pin him and he'd say, five. The hand out there, five. You have to give him a five count. But it was um it was SD Jones. SD Jones was in that first match at WrestleMania one. And um and no no SD bro SD Jones, my brother, SD Jones. <laughs> Pigeons out there shilling for me. Don't take them seriously. But then again, if you do, I won't be offended by it. LA Knight. Okay, this is this dude I was talking about earlier, man. He's all bronzed up and oiled up and shaved. He's a bodybuilder for sure. Um, let's see if he's if see how if he's light on his feet. If he's got uh, an arsenal of moves. You never heard of SD Jones? Oh, bro. Special Delivery Jones. He was a jobber. I uh, ended up making it to mid-card. He teamed up with Bobo Brazil. They had a team called the Soul Patrol. Nah, that's the real pigeon, bro. But yeah, man, SD Jones. He, uh, I saw him at uh, Jack Witchie's Sports Arena. Jack Witchie's was a barn out in the middle of um, a town called Attleboro. But Jack Witchie was the promoter in the Northeast. So they would come to Jack Witchie's before they went to the Boston Garden, before they went to the uh, Portland Auditorium. They'd come to Jack Witchie's in a small place. Now, I used to go there all the time on Friday nights. They'd have five matches. No no tapings, no no pictures, no nothing. No no tele, no newspaper reviews. But, uh, but you'd see Chief J. Strongbow. You'd see Gorilla Monsoon. You'd see Spiro Sarion, you'd see Haystacks Calhoun. They all went there. And S.D. Jones, I remember the first time I went there, S.D.'s on the payphone. And you get, he's talking to, you get all these little, they used to call them ring rats, all these little groupies who like to go out and they, they try to hook up with the wrestlers after the match. S.D., he had a million of them. He, in, in shape, had a headbutt. I mean, he was, he, he was, he, he'd always have his few moments of glory, but he'd always lose to the, to the to the draws, to the top names. But um, he was the ultimate job on SD, Special Delivery Jones, probably passed away. I think he had a nice, I think he bought a nice nice house in New York with the, with the money that he made from WrestleMania 1. Now, who is LA Knight taking on in this match? He's in the ring by himself right now. A crowd of 70,000. He was in bad, he was, yeah, like a bad news round. SD was, was definitely, definitely a legend. Okay, man. Fucking, what's his name? Uh, JD. How come, how come names always, AJ Styles. How come I couldn't just think, I just couldn't think of the name AJ Styles. I've been watching this guy for 20 years. And all of a sudden, AJ AJ Styles' name blanked out in my head. Maybe, I, maybe I'm having a mini stroke. You may be experiencing history over here. Okay, LA Knight, those dusty roads, right hands. And now, uh, LA Knight has, has got the advantage here. AJ Styles, boom, hits him with an elbow, chopped to the throat. AJ's a veteran, man. AJ, he was in the Indies forever. Never got the big break. Finally got it, man. Made the most of it. Became an instant overnight hit with the WWE. Boom. I mean, he's not a big guy either. He's lucky if he weighs 220 pounds. Lucky if he does that. He weighs that. But he takes the, takes the fucking bumps. Put on a show. Both of these guys, they're small. Back in the 80s, they, 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 they wouldn't even be, uh, they wouldn't even be considered. They'd be like midget wrestlers. You know what I mean? It'd be on the indie circuit. Everybody had, you had to be big. You had to be jacked. But now it's based much more on talent, more on sellability. You know, when I think of a, a champ, the champ of wrestling, I want to see this big fucking guy. You know, this guy. I don't want. I don't want to think these guys, man. You know, my neighbor next door is as big as both of these guys. You know what I'm saying, bro? I mean, this is not. Uh, it's not like it used to be. Wrestlers when they when they walked in a the crowd, their heads would be. Would, would power over most people. LA Knight's got the attitude. Styles going for that leg, man. See, Styles is a veteran. Styles will find a body part, 
I work on that body part. The old Ollie Ollie Anderson adage, a table with three legs ain't good to anybody. You take out one of those legs and you got a piece of garbage. And that's just what AJ Styles is doing. He's working on that leg. He's got he's got a fucking ankle lock. He's going down. He's snapping on the thing, man. Putting some pr- added pressure on those hamstrings. You take out a leg, you've got an easy opponent here. <coughs> AJ's a master joint manipulator, too. Oh, two right. They're both exchanging right hands. AJ. He's already got that knee weakened. He's just going for that knee. Whenever there's an opening, bang, hit that knee, and the man goes down. Knight's limping around. AJ's got to, he's gone for that knee once again, man. He picks him up. He drops him on his knee. He drops his knee on his knee. So he's working on, uh, he's working on a uh, submission. If he can get that knee to the point where he gets him in a figure four leg lock, and you're going to see, um, you're gonna see LA Knight have no no alternative. I don't know if they've got if they're uh, really uh, back in this LA Knight or from AJ is gonna get himself a WrestleMania victory. You know you never know you never know who the company's behind, but uh, you know they're gonna put on a tremendous show either way. Once again, man, AJ going for that leg, working working on that left leg. AJ Knight gets a sunset flip, wraps him up. AJ Knight is hitting him with some clotheslines, gets around, Russian leg sweep, boom. AJ's on his back in the ring. LA Knight's walking around like that, legs in pretty good shape now, man. Shakes that fucking, that injured knee like it's no problem now. Amazing recuperative powers. I wish boxers had the recovery, able to, uh, to recuperate like, like LA Knight over here. Oh, man, he nails AJ's head with a flying knee. From across the ring, man. This is some good action. I hope y'all you are all enjoying this. I just got a text. Let me see who's looking for me. A DDT, a, a running off the ropes DDT by LA Knight. Down for the count of two and a half, two and three quarters. You know you're not gonna pin him. You gotta practically kill somebody to, to beat him in wrestling. And, and submissions are rare. But as far as pinning goes, you gotta pretty much have the guy out on his feet. They are in the uh, little chop to the throat. AJ Styles is on the outside of the ring on the top of the ropes. Uh, Jay, I'm watching wrestling tonight. I'm watching uh, WrestleMania. I'm not going to be able to make it tonight, champ. I'm watching WrestleMania. Peace to you and the guys. That was my buddy Jay Hardcore. They do a, a, an OG show every Sunday night, and I do it too, and it's a lot of fun. But uh, this is WrestleMania, baby. You know, I uh, the only thing that's on schedule is, in my life is what's happening. And right now, WrestleMania is happening. We'll talk to the OGs next Sunday. Let's see. Let's see what Jay's got to say to me here. Cool and joy. You know I will, my brother. But anyway, it's, that's the best place to go on a Sunday night for boxing. In fact, I do it over here on my on my channel. I'm uh, I'm occupying the airspace that I usually do that on. So we'll get to it next week. But anyway, back to the back to the matches here. AJ Styles on the top rope and he gets a leg sweep by LA Knight. And he's tied up at the uh, in the corner. He's LA Knight. I mean, this is dangerous. When these guys get on that top rope and they start banging each other, you know how easy it is? You fall, you fall in the ring, that's one thing, man. You fall outside the ring, you got that ring post out there, that steel ring post. You've got the uh, the turnbuckle. You've got you you got all kind of ways to get hurt. That's what you got. And right now he looks like he's going for a suplex. Or, oh, Styles just raked him in the eye, broke that broke that that hold. 
but he's staying up on that top rope, and LA, LA Knight gets right up there. His feet are on the top rope. Okay, this is this is big. Oh, oh man, a fucking suplex off the top rope. I think LA Knight gave it to AJ Styles. Unfucking believable. I mean, these these fucking guys. Give me a break. I don't know how you. That would put me in a wheelchair for a year. Oh shit, my my screen just fucking froze on me. I gotta refresh it. Don't lose your cool, big big dog. Don't lose your cool. There we go. There we go. Get it up there on the full screen. There we go. We're in. Once again, it's down for a second. Saves me a hundred. It goes down for a second. Comes right back up, man. That's what the old lady says about me. Here we go, man. The ring's the ring's got a bottle of prime water in there. AJ is walking around. He's doing this, man. That means time to time to take it home. Time to take it home. He's gonna try his finishing move. LA Knight's gonna try his finishing move on AJ. AJ's got that beautiful roll in, man. That fucking calf crusher. What a devastating move. I've often, you know, if I wasn't older, I would have, I would add that to my repertoire. You ain't getting out of that calf crusher. Once that's in there, man. Oh, I can feel the pain now because I've had, I've had, I got big calf, baby, and I've had, I've had my calf fucking, uh, I've had cramp up on me at night. I've done many calf exercises. My calf's for 18 inches, man. Time, baby. I know what that I know what that move feels like riding with me and in there. LA Knight's calling for that bottom rope, man. Making AJ Styles break that move. Devastating move, that cat's crushing. You know it, baby. You know it. Crazy suplex in there, huh? Fucking right, bro. I mean, WrestleMania, that's when that, that's when that's when you put the show on the line. That's why, you know, I mean made sure my ass was gonna be popped in front of this TV watching this tonight. This is the uh, this is the uh, the mecca of wrestling, WrestleMania, regardless of, of who's running it. Oh, AJ is working on that knee once again, working on that left knee, pulling the knee pad off. Knee pads, you know, Gorilla Monsoon would say that those knee pads should be just below the knee, and, and you see a lot of the old school wrestlers they wear them just below the kneecap. He cut his over the kneecap. I, I don't. I don't know, man. I never, I never got in the ring. Once again, AJ Styles has got him in there. He, he got him in the old fishbone. Oh, he, he had him. Uh, I don't know how we could call that. He had T-bone below the waist on those uh, in that turnbuckle. He just got out, got out of, uh, got out of it, and. Um, and now LA Knight looks like he's gonna go for the sharpshooter outside the ring. No, he's not. He's just going for a, a chomp to the lower abdomen, as they call it. Pulling those ring, uh, the ring pads out there to expose that uh, that concrete floor, man. It's all it's all just uh, those are just um, I don't know if they're particle board or they or they're concrete, but they're just forms. That's uh, that b- below that is um, is is grass. Oh, boom. Right on there, man. L.A. Knight just got, got, got uh, backdropped onto that hard, exposed, exposed uh, ring apron, can we call it? And there goes the referee counting out. I forgot there were rules in this, man. It's the first time we've seen a count out, a breakout, any, any, anything that needed the referee's uh, attention here. He's up to three. I believe he's the count of ten. He'll be counted out. You very, very seldom see that happen. I think AJ is going to get a little pissed when he's going to break the count up himself. That's it. He's, oh, he made it nine and a half and he made it in there. I mean, dude, this is wrestling. <coughs> you knew you weren't going to see him get counted out. Big kick by AJ Styles. LA Knight's on the ground. AJ is going to do, oh, that, that AJ, uh, yeah, this move right here where he he does a elbow. He does a, like a flying body press. Oh no, the uh, the somersault. Great, great move. I forgot about that. The AJ drop, maybe I don't know, but whatever it is, it's one that he invented. And he caught the knees of um, Belly Knight in the stomach on that one. So we're not seeing anything happen here, man. We're not seeing any any uh, any near pin any near pin uh, attempts going on. Both of these guys are. Taking a little bit of a breather. Oh, I think we're gonna see a super kick. Nope, punch. Super kicks are uh, overused in wrestling these days. 
they had the snooker, the snookers, not the snookers, man, the Uzo brothers. Oh, what just happened there, man? I, uh, my Bluetooth went off. I can't have that. I'll get in trouble. Good time. Okay, we're good. Okay, we don't gotta make sure that Bluetooth stays on so I don't lose my power here. Once again, AJ was going for that AJ splash. Once again, the style splash. I forget what it's called. He's got a patent name for it. LA Knight using a, oh, yeah, kind of like a, some kind of finishing move he's got. Oh, and he got he, he, LA Knight pinned AJ Styles. Whoa, I guess they have some uh, some things planned for this uh, AJ Knight, this uh, LA, LA Knight. That's his name, LA Knight. AJ Styles and LA Knight. I'm glad that's over, man. I'll tell you. He's got that kind of macho man look about his eyes. He didn't have the. Uh, he didn't have what Macho Man had though. He didn't have that, that, that was beautiful. Those beautiful moves that are, uh, you know, off the top rope, the elbow smash. But he, but you can see where he, where he's, uh, where he's copying the style. Oh, big guy, big show's huge, man. Big show's a fucking monster. I mean, Big Show getting getting uh, knocked out by Floyd wasn't that uh, wasn't that something to behold? Yeah, that LA Knight's got a finishing move like a face planter. It almost looks like a neck breaker, but you you keep the guys you uh you face. It's almost like a, I guess a face breaker would be a good way to good thing to call. Another match over at WrestleMania. To change the bomb water. That was a good time to do it between matches. Just talk, you know, I go, I, it's funny because I switch. I've got the green dragon over here. I've got the vape. I got the bubble hash. I got the flower. And I even have the uh, the diamond drip. I can be dabbing. So I like I like a variation when it comes to my herb. And coming up to the speaking of WrestleMania and Sacred Days, 420 is right around the corner. 13 more days. 420 is the day that Ryan Garcia takes on Devin Haney. Excuse me for a second while I change this bong water. Back again. Once again, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button for me. It does something to an algorithm or whatever, man. 420 is no, you know, my Christmas was the other day, bro. I got the, the Hitman autograph, Hitman picture. I got the hoodie. I got the T-shirt. I got two autograph, two autograph pictures. Personally, autograph pictures. So man, that was that was like Christmas, like opening up the box when it came. But um, but 420. 
it's something that came around after I was uh, I, I was already a veteran smoker when I heard about it. You know, 420. That was like, see, the thing about 420 was it was uh, you got to work at four o'clock by 420. You already got it sparked up. So it was, uh, there was a group in California, the 420 club. They were high schoolers. They would meet and uh, meet at 420 every day to smoke the herb. And it's like a legend, and it just continued. And now we. April 4th is 420 at 420. You know where I'll be on 420 at 420 right here. I hope you're with me because that's when we do our herb show, man. We talk about it. We fire it up, man. The Bud Files. How we doing, man? David Lopin, salute. Peace to you, bro. They, uh, we had the... Um, Hall of Fame on Friday night, man. Muhammad Ali was was inducted by The Undertaker. Paul Heyman, Lonnie Ali, Muhammad Ali's wife was there. She gave gave Rock a belt called the People's Championship belt. Uh, you know, <laughs> it, 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 it's what's happening. It is what it is. Definitely worth watching it for sure. No, Gilbert didn't make the Hall of Fame yet. That's when the, uh, the nasty wars were coming on, man. But they had um, the, the Fatu family, Rocky Johnson, his father, the Rock. I mean, the whole the whole lineage, Roman Reigns. And, I mean, they were all there for, for Paul Heyman. Paul Heyman, cool dude, bro. Fucking. If you're a fan of wrestling, then you you know who Paul Heyman is. You watch that. He watches every move. Got that sneaky looking face, man. You know, he's stabbing the back. He just plays his part so well. ECW was a hell of a fucking time to, to be a wrestling fan. Those guys were barbed wire. There was always blood, matches on glass and thumbtacks. I mean, you can't fake them. Somebody opens a bag of thumbtacks and body slams you on that. You can't fake that. I mean, these guys, these guys are nuts. No one half of them are died young to pain pill addiction, all kind of, all kind of tragedies, man. But I guess we're uh, we're, we're coming on. We're gonna, we're gonna see Paul Heyman out there, man. Paul Heyman is the uh, the advisor of Roman Reigns, and Roman Reigns seems to be the face, I guess, of professional wrestling these days. Next week, Jared Anderson. Next Saturday night, we're going to have some live heavyweight boxing. We love live heavyweight boxing. I used to hang up super, stay up super late, hang up super late to watch ECW. Oh, yeah, man. I'd always catch ECW whenever I could. Those guys were nuts. Anyway. They were doing things that uh, they were telling kids in school, don't even, don't do this in the playground. Anybody that does any of these wrestling moves will be suspended. And I mean, it was, uh, it was getting out of hand. The attitude, error, the suck it, Raven, Sa Sabu, Taz, all those fucking crazy bastards, man. Those guys lived it. Bull Nakano indicted into the inducted into the the, the WWE Hall of Fame. Uh, it's too bad that it's not a real Hall of Fame, you know, but it's as close as we're gonna get. So it is what it is. Do you ever see the you what you everybody's seen porn stars, you know, the, the porn shop movie? Uh, some guy came in there and he had Paul Bearer's Hall of Fame ring. One of the um, one of the initial inaugural classes back in the day, and they were trying to pawn it off. I think they wanted twenty. I think he got down to like twenty thousand, something like that for it. But uh, the, the the guy Rick only offered him he offered him peanuts for it. Ayahuasca, Ayabusca. 
Yeah, he, Hayabusa was odd. He was another one, man. Oh, there were so many of them, man. Tommy Dreamer. Tommy Dreamer was, he was tried and true. Fucking, uh, who was the crazy bastard, man? Fucking, uh, the guy, the guy that would, would uh, they had, they had ECW in, in, uh, in Massachusetts and they had this, this kid, uh, who, who came off as the bus driver. Sandman and, um, Fucking uh, New Jack. New Jack beat the fuck out of this guy. This kid, he was only 18 years old, 17 years old. And he, he talked his way into be, to, to, uh, wrestling. And, and he got it got in there. They, he said he had matches before. New Jack fucked him up. The kid couldn't bleed himself, couldn't cut himself. So he told New Jack to do it. And New Jack went overboard. There was blood everywhere. The, 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 the guy died. He just died uh, not long ago. New Jack supposedly settled out of court, but New Jack had a habit of taking off on social uh, social settle settlements. Had a, had a habit of not paying them, not having any visible means of support, but they could they could uh, grab his assets. So um, so it was tough, man. It was it was fucking tough for, for this family and other other people, other wrestlers that got fucked up by New Jack. Man, he was he was nuts. One man gang. Muhammad Ali in boxing wrestling hall of fame. Yep. Even on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. There you go. Absolutely. Carlos, man. I never, never thought about it like that. New Jack was totally, totally crazy. Snickers, I guess that's one of the one of the only companies that are sticking with the WWE. You know, before we had the Slim Jims in there. Don't see them in there. I guess after Vince got uh, but humiliated and had to resign. They kind of um, some of the major sponsors backed off on. I don't think they totally totally abandoned them, but they said we're gonna we're gonna lay off a little bit, take a little break, see what happens. Another one who was in, in, inducted was posthumous. Posthumously was Ray Wyatt. Kendall Wyndham in real life, his real name. I'm sorry, his real name. Uh, fuck, I can't think of his real name right now. Find out. Kendall Rotundo. That's not right. But anyway, man, he came in with uh with, the, with that crazy fucking tag team man, Ray Wyatt and Eric Rowan. And then the other the other crazy motherfucker man doing nothing. So he stayed, he was getting all the push, and, and, and then something happened and he died. And uh, Wyndham Rotundo, that was his name. He was named Wyndham Rotundo. And, and uh, Barry Wyndham and Mike Rotundo were both inducted into the Hall of Fame um, on Friday night. The United States Championships tag team by Triple Threat Match is coming up. The United States Championship. And that looks like Randy Orton, Kevin Owens, and Logan Paul. This should be good, man. I never saw Logan Paul wrestle before. Fucking Jake Paul and Mike Tyson. You cannot wait for that one, man. I don't know if it's going to be real or not, but it's going to be fun. Logan is a WWE wrestler. Logan's the one who he boxed Floyd, right? He went the distance with Floyd in an exhibition. RKO. Okay, oh. 
Nicole and you good, man. One man gang. I liked it when Barry Wyndham was a stalker. Military character as a kid. Yeah, Barry was a uh, definitely um son of Blackjack Mulligan. I mean, born and bred into the game, knew every move in the book, he had the size. You know, he had the fucking the power, the speed, everything. I like that when he, he used to come back with some weird some weird characters. Randy Orton, he's he's another one. Third generation wrestler. RKO, man, he can slap that on you like that anytime, anywhere. I saw Logan, I saw like a highlight of him do a, uh, he, he did a, uh, a cross body off the top rope. And he definitely, uh, you know, he knows what he's doing. He went to wrestling school and he doesn't mind putting his body on the line. He's learned how to, how to fall, take those bumps. Kevin Owens, though, that's another one, man. Kevin Owens is a fucking monster. He puts his body on the line. Got that big belly. But that's another one, man. Don't judge a book by its cover. You know, he's, he's built more like a Dusty Rhodes than, than a, a body beautiful. But, uh, but man, some of those moves Kevin Owens had. First time I saw him was I was in um the X the XT. That was called man, NXT. He was in NXT, and he beat the shit out of another guy who won yesterday. The, 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 the kid with the red hair, bro. What the fuck is his name? I'll think of that in a second too. But uh, anyway, Kevin Owens. He went in to congratulate this, this kid who won, who won a title. He was his friend, he, his best man. I can't think of his name right now. All you cats know what I'm talking about. But um, he looks like a paper boy out of the fucking 40s or something, out of the fucking 30s. And, um, but anyway, man, Kevin Owens gave him slams against him on the ring apron that was so devastating. It, 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 I was feeling bad for the guy. But Kevin Owens, man, knows his knows his shit. He he had a, he had an amazing run there with him. Oh, okay. Chris Jericho. They were enemies at first, and they became a team. They never quite trusted each other. Then uh, then they turned on each other. Great great feud. Blood all over the place. Prime, I don't know what the hell Prime is. Anybody ever tried Prime out there? Vision, you're, you're, you're one funny bastard, man, I must say. What is Prime Sports Drink? According to Wikipedia, Prime is a range of sports drinks, drink mixes, and energy drinks created and marketed by Prime Corporation LLC. The range is promoted. Founded by YouTubers and internet personalities Logan Paul and KSI. Ah, it's uh, energy drinks, drink mixes, founded by Logan Paul and KSI. Damn, I didn't know that. That's why I drink only water. Hydration drink. I guess it's like um like Gatorade, right? I used to drink before, you know, I used to drink Gatorade when I used to 
I don't know. I don't know why I used to drink Gatorade, but I did. Contains 25 calories. Okay, I, I would definitely like to see the uh, to see what's in this stuff. It's like vitamin water with some caffeine in it. They probably throw a few herbal supplements in there to make it sound cool. Based on money. Here comes the honorary one, Kevin Owens. Refresh that. See what it looks like. Okay. No way, no way, no way, Carlos. Andre the Giant, sheer size alone. He would drink pigeon under the table. Pigeon, um, pigeon could hang with him, but he would never keep up with him. It would, it would definitely be a, a three for one. Because Andre just had such a such a big gut to fill up, man. You know, three bottles of wine with dinner, just him. I don't, even, I don't think pigeon could handle that one, bro. Don't don't underestimate the pigeon, though, man. Never underestimate the pigeon. He's a he's an excellent internet detective. He has many addresses, and he's an all around fun guy. So. How did it work, De Niro? Dude, wow, man, smoke inhalation. That's that's the uh, thing that uh, it kills you in fire. It doesn't start to burn. It's the smoke inhalation. And hey, you're, you're a hero, too. You saved your neighbor. Do you live in Maine by any chance? Andre drank a hundred beers a night. Yep. You know, I've, I've never seen him in action. There was a bar in Fall River that Mr. Fuji owned. Fall River is a town that's only a few miles from me. That Mr. Fuji owns. And when the, he owns, he closed now. But when the wrestlers were in town, he'd be there. And they'd all be in there drinking. And I never, I never went there. Never made it there to catch him. Sorry that I didn't. And I guess I can see a little uh, two-on-one strategy going on for this for this match. Randy Orton is on the back of a golf cart being driven by Kevin Owens. And it's a triple threat match for the United States Championship, I believe. And so that means Logan Paul is going to be taking on two wrestlers. So he's going to get the shit kicked out of him. This is always good when they do this. To him. The two veteran WWE Superstars, a new kid in town comes in. They did this with this with this guy that won the, uh, the MTV contest for you. You you won like a million dollar contract. WWE. That was this dude's name. Another one that's for some reason skipping my memory. But he became a wrestler for a while. And it was at the um, the Royal Rumble when he was in there. And Chris Benoit, I think it might have been Kevin Owens, and um, and a crazy one there, man. The fucking uh, Bob Holly. They, they ganged up on this guy. This, this is a guy, and tough enough, he almost made Kurt Angle submit. Kurt Angle was just out there to, to show these guys how he's going to teach them a lesson. And this guy made he put, he put him in a, a kimono lock, and Kurt was on the verge of tapping out. And so the, the wrestlers didn't like this guy because he was he showed off. He was what they call a shooter. He wasn't going along with, with the script. And anyway, man, they beat the fuck out of him at the Royal Rumble. He got his contract. He never lasted with the WWE. You see him. On, you can still see him on YouTube. You know, on Facebook and YouTube. He, he talks about his. His uh, thing with, with Kurt Angle, and I wish I could think of this guy's name. All you gotta do is put Kurt Angle tough enough, come on, lock. And then, they, yeah, they have 
Randy Orton and Kevin Owens are taking turns beating the shit out of Logan Paul. This is a two-on-one. It's like, welcome to the WWE, kid. Through a table without even taking the fucking uh, monitors off or nothing. Not through it, but I'm honest. Hey, man. <laughs> They're going to beat the shit out of him, man. I wonder if Brother Jake is watching this. He's in training for Mike Tyson, man. Oh, they're, they're not even taking the fucking micro. They're not even taking the, the monitors. Nothing off there. Even that little padding. I guess it's a piece of piece of particle board. Oh man, still didn't go through the table. They're gonna do this until he goes through the table. Mick Smith, what's happening, bro? Let me see what this is. Hang on a second. Miles Bailey, no, I can't answer this call. I'm online. I'll call you, I'll call you later, Miles. Oh! Logan Paul slipped out of that one and he pushed Kevin Owens into Randy Orton and now they, you, you pushed him into me? A little, a little bit of a uh, Dissension amongst the ranks, but nope, it's not happening. They both turn back on Logan Paul and they're kicking his ass. Kicks to the knee, kicks to the chest. Oh, Logan Paul's getting hammered from every direction here. Logan is getting two on one here, bro. It's like, welcome to the Federation. Once again, man, they had double team with Logan Paul. Looks like they have no regard to who wins this, this match. No, Alonzo, everybody's friends in here, man. We don't have no enemies in here. No enemies, no hall monitors, no timing outs, no blockage, no nothing. Everybody just comes in here, say what you want to say, but just remember, they're on the internet. You might need a good slap in the face, a punch in the mouth, a fucking elbow to the gut. But you, uh, you've been playing virtual tag too long. Oh, Randy Orton and uh, Randy Orton and Kevin Owens are once again, they're once again not trusting each other. Randy's trying to keep a straight face, saying, "Bro, it was a mistake. I just bumped into you." But you're eventually going to see these two guys put on a hell of a show, man. Randy Orton and, um, and Kevin Owens. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. They're both in this. Exchanging right hands, man. Who's going downstairs? Forearm blows. Head butts. Everything, man. And Logan Paul comes off the top rope and fucking gives both a double clothesline, knocks them both down. That took a hell of a lot of great timing. Logan Paul jumping right on Kevin Owens, hung in his forehead. Logan Paul was one of the boys. Crazy move. He did like a flip off the rope, and then he jumped and gave the, the double clothesline. And he's doing a stomp. I don't know, man. Logan's not impressing me at all. This is WrestleMania, bro. You have uh, really pulling those kicks back a little too much. Logan's looking like fucking uh, trying to do a little Randy Orton imitation. Trying to do a little a little Hulk Hogan. Looks like Kevin Owens is just kind of letting him do whatever he wants. And could, uh, could turn this around at any time. Randy's just kind of Oh, Randy took a pretty weak, uh, pretty weak flying clothesline. Oh, there's a super kick by Kevin Owens right on the button. He's going to get the double the bowling ball here. There we go. This I, I always like this move. Otto Wamps invented this move. Boom, flying cannonball. Great move. Kevin Owens off the top rope, man. That's splash. No, the uh, it's like an Owens bomb or whatever he calls it, but uh, Logan Paul got the knees up. 
Stop, stop that. Stop going in his tracks now. Logan Paul's on the top rope, going for uh, some kind. Of, hey, pretty pretty good action moves, man. He just gave Owens a gave Owens a back backdrop off the top rope, landed on his feet, and then did a uh, then dove on Randy Orton, got for a two count. Interesting. Logan's gonna have to eat some steak sandwiches, bro. He needs he definitely needs about 15, 20 pounds. Lay off that prime water. Yeah, the highlight move, they're showing the repeats of it. We're all old pigeon. Oh. Exchanging forearms, Randy Orton and Logan Paul. Randy Orton, Logan Paul, and Logan Paul is uh, Logan Paul is going nuts with his forearms, man. There we go. Now he's starting to look. Uh, now he's starting to look like he belongs. And even though he's a small guy, he's kind of built like Edge. Like the, the other dude from South Africa. Oh, Randy Orton, you can't you can't let your guard down on him. Put fingers to the eye, changes the uh changes the, the whole match around and Kevin Owens runs in, grabs Orton, throws him to the turnbuckle, comes out, catches Owens with a clothesline. Orton with a power slam. That that's the move that he likes, man. Randy Orton's feeling good. Randy looks like he's uh he's ready to show some of it. This is one of Randy's greatest moves here. He gets him hanging off that top rope and kind of like DDTs him, but he gets stopped in his tracks by Logan Paul. And he goes, Logan Paul's going to do one of these over the fucking rope, kind of a, oh, and into a power slam. That kind of jumping up over the rope kind of a thing, man. Save that for after a bout, like, uh, like somebody like, like Joe uh, Joyce would do, bro. You don't want to be doing that too often. You get very predictable. And here goes that famous, hang his fucking feet on the ropes and DDT him. He's going to do a double with Kevin Owens, too. Oh, baby. Owens looks like he's lost some weight, too. Time for double DDTs. Here we go. Ba boom. Nice. That's the way to do it, bro. You got to keep the action going at all times. And Randy Orton, he's going to turn around, go down, do his RKO. Here he goes. Boom. You notice he doesn't slam those fists in the mat anymore because he broke his fucking, uh, he broke his knuckles. He does it very, very carefully. Now. He used to do it. Boom, boom. Oh, beautiful. Kevin Owens with those super kicks. Nailed Orton. Just got him with, uh, I don't know what they call that move. Almost pinned Logan Paul. Kind of like a slingshot. Double knee to the chest. Drag the guy over. I mean, definitely both guys have to practice that one. But there goes Owens to the top rope. Orton catching him before he leaves the, before he makes his takeoff. Orton pounding. Orton is pounding Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens is sitting on the top turnbuckle. Orton, Orton's still in the, Orton's going to get him ready for a super, superplex. Oh, and there goes Logan Paul's. There's going to be a triple, a triple suplex. Logan Paul underneath. Logan Paul's going to have to superplex Kevin He's going to have, oh, this is going to be a, if this move hands off, it's going to be an amazing, oh, but no, Orton pounds Logan Paul, gets him out, breaks up this move. I don't think we're going to see it. I guess they weren't quite ready for it, man. But now it's Logan Paul going up there, trying to get Kevin Owens for, ready for a suplex. Kevin Owens grabs him, slams him off the top rope. Now he's got him in the center ring. Devastating move. Looks like Kevin Owens. Looks like he wants to end this one. Oh, and he nailed Logan Paul. This could be it. One, two, and a three. Oh, two and a half. 
thought Owens was going to have that one, man. So close. I don't know how Logan Paul got out of that one. He nailed him with all that. Showing the slow motion now. Somersaults off the top rope. There's a 360. Boom. Oh, lands right on Logan's chest. I mean, that was a fucking fantastic move. I got to give it to Logan Paul for kicking out it. And now it's Owens and Randy Orton in the ring, man. Logan Paul's outside fucking getting his shit together, man. He, he got shot up on that one. A beautiful RKO. There goes the pin by Randy Orton for a two and another two and a half, two and three quarters. I have to pull out another buddy here and make it through the, uh, the rest of this match. Randy Orton's. I don't know if he knows that Logan Paul is behind him. Logan Paul's got that. Uh, I don't know. He's got some brass knuckles. Oh, baby. A whole new game here. Is this a no count out? He missed him with those knuckles. And, and Randy Orton's taking the brass knuckles off. Logan Paul's got him behind. Rakes the eyes. Paul's still got the brass knuckles. Nails Randy in the jaw with the brass knuckles. Randy Orton is out. One, two. And oh, Orton kicks out. He kicks out. He got nailed with the brass knuckles, and he kicked out. Unbelievable. I wonder if he's going to come and uh, nail Mike Tyson with those brass knuckles when Tyson fights uh, Jake Paul. I thought about that scenario, my friends. You pull out a bucket. See, this is called garlic cookies. It really, it smells like fresh garlic. Look at that beautiful, look at that beautiful nugget. Look at this in there, man. I think it's fucking... That's high times cup worthy right there, man. Pull out a little chunk of that, put it on the tray. It's a, a high bread that's 90% indica. Do a few more of those to, uh, to enjoy this. But Logan Paul is on top of Randy Orton right now, man. You've got Randy Orton in a front face lock. The kind of move that uh, Hulk Hogan took, uh, took out. Uh, Belsa, was that his name? David Belsa. Oh, there was already a bud in here, man. I, got, I must have a little buzz on if I didn't, didn't catch that one. Oh, we got all the stuff. Logan, uh, Randy Orton is in the ring right now with Logan Paul. De Niro, you said Randy was going to win this one. I see we're getting down to the nearing the finish. Oh, Randy sees those brass knuckles, man. Is he going to give him to the referee? Or is he going to use him? I, I think Randy's probably going to give him up. I don't think he needs those guys. But Randy is the viper. He's giving him to the referee. I don't need these guys, man. For this kid, you may see a low blow, though. I can see Logan Paul. But Randy's getting ready for that punt, that punt. These are the ones that uh, wrestlers uh, didn't want to take. These are the ones who are putting guys in uh, concussions here, man. Gets pulled out of the ring by the hydration. I bet that's his fucking brother. Watch out. Watch out for Jake. No, it's not. It's fucking... Uh, who is that, dude? KSI or somebody like that? Who is it? Who is it? I gotta put the uh, I gotta put the headphones on to see who this is. I can't see who this is. ISO speed. I don't know who this guy is, but Randy Orton's destroying this guy that was in the prime costume. I don't know who he is, man, but right. 
Randy is going to put this guy through the table. He tried to, but he didn't do it. And Randy's pissed. He's going to have to do it again to this poor bastard. Oh, Randy's got Logan Paul from behind. Randy right into that steel turnbuckle. Pushes Randy back in the ring again. Logan Paul might have his moment of glory here. This could be it. Oh, and he misses. He tried to splash, but he missed. Kevin Owens catches him with a power bomb. Kevin Owens catches Randy Orton with an RKO. The stunner. Just lo Logan. <laughs> Randy Orton kicks out. Sweet chin music. There's action going on here. It's it, it, it's gone crazy here. Kevin Owens is got is going after Orton. It's Randy Orton and Kevin Owens in the center ring right now. Randy Orton with a beautiful RKO catches. Owens was trying for that Owens power bomb. Tosses. I don't know, for some reason, I got a feeling that Logan Paul is going to come out ahead in this match. He's on the top rope, flying, splash, two, three. Logan Paul does come out on ahead. ahead. Yep, Logan Paul wins it. The new U.S. champion. I don't know. You just kind of had a feeling that uh, if, if he didn't get beat, the moves that he got, that, uh, that they had plans for him on here. And Logan Paul wins this triple threat match at WrestleMania. Quattro, like you said, underwhelming, but um, but it is what it is. Get some water after this one, man. Could I see a blood boxing? I pissed the on. I saw pissed on today. She was out and about. I haven't seen her in a while. And they're showing the uh, the dude with the with the prime in the prime costume. Well, this is the Nero. This is why we watch boxing and not wrestling. We can we can donate. We can donate one freaking uh, one night of our time, a year at WrestleMania, two nights if we have to. I'm gonna put together a nice quiz out there, man. It's gonna be it's gonna be uh, a difficult one too this time. I'm gonna shoot for Friday night. Putting together 50 questions, random. Uh, you know, 50 uh, pick them questions, and you might have all kind of all kind of different things going on here. Well, really, seems like the knowledge who can bring it. But Logan Paul taking charge over here. He won himself a match at WrestleMania. Maybe he'll have that speak that the Undertaker had. Do a couple of hits on this. Uh, these garlic cookies. This is some good stuff, man. I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm digging it. Change of water. Get some water to drink and maybe take a leak in the toilet. Be right back. Don't go away.
Back again. Back again. Good for the rest of the night. So far. For most of it anyway. Got the clean the clean water for the token too. Fresh drinking stuff. And took a leak. So I should be good. Women's wrestling coming up, man. This is um Bailey. She was always on NXT when I stopped watching wrestling. A lot, a couple of the Japanese girls, Iona Sky. Um, quite a few, quite a few here. Oscar. Oscar is one of the more interesting Japanese imports. And then who's the uh, who's the one from the UFC man? Shayna Baszler. Ronda Rousey was there for a while. A lot, a lot of tough girls in the, in the WWE man. Bailey was always a good guy. Bailey was tough as nails, man. You know, but the, but now she's a now she's a heel. And this, I'll tell you, this uh, this this these garlic cookies, this bud. Look how look how how moist this is. Put your finger on it, it sticks right on. Like, that. Oh, like the gorilla glue. But now the uh, I guess there's a feud going on because I'm not really like I said earlier many times I haven't watched I haven't been keeping up with this. So the women are apparently having a, a super feud. They've all got their little alliances going. It's going to be cold for these ladies tonight, man. We're in um, we're in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Lincoln Financial Field. I guess that's where that's where the the, uh, the Eagles play. But yeah, Bailey has become a hated, and uh, you know, she was everybody's gal before. You know, Bailey was the one you'd marry in that game that you guys play. 
And here we go, man. We're gonna have the uh we're gonna, I guess it's a woman's a woman's title match coming up here. I don't know if Bailey Bailey was a champ for a while. I don't know what's going on exactly in the uh, in, in in the women's division. She's at the uh Bailey is like a uh, Cleopatra. She's at, she's at the pyramids. And they're getting ready to do a big show in Saudi too, WWE. Electra, salute. It's like the movie that Rocky was in, The Mummy. It's all those characters from the uh, pyramids. Hey, she's got the, the pyramid shaved in the side of her head. Like somebody else on here. No names, no names. Angel, salute, brother. Thank you for stopping by. Appreciate it, man. You know, Bailey's making that long ring walk down, man. Some of them have golf carts. Remember the, the uh, Undertaker used to have his Harley and drive it down there, man? The Road Warriors, I think they came in on bike. Hulk Hogan used to come in on his All American chopper back in the day. Role model. Yeah, that's what Bailey was. I don't know if she still is, man. I think she turned she turned heel. I'm not sure. The bluefin tunas. The weather up here, man, it's not so bad. Around 50 degrees. Could be warmer, but it's all right. Now, I got to give these people at this stadium watching this tonight. This is an outdoor stadium. Wrestling, full of wrestling fans on WrestleMania. Why couldn't Bach, why couldn't they do this for Baku? Why couldn't they put a super card together and fill a stadium in, in some random city like this, man? Put, put on a, a Don King type of, of a card. You've got 70,000 people paying attendance. That's what they're doing on pay-per-views. They're doing less than that. Wouldn't that make sense? Hmm? Wouldn't that make sense? Make it make sense. It's, it, it's too much like WWE. Boxing can't do that. Iona Sky. Is that her name? Ioe Sky? Iona? She definitely is one of those high flyers. Doing those famous um those flying pins off the top rope. What about these women wrestlers? They gotta make sure they don't have any wardrobe malfunctions. That's what most of you clowns watch baby wrestling for anyway, you know. You want to see a nip slip. You catch the wrong camera angle when they're doing one of those uh, cradles. Ioni Sky, extremely tough. High flyer. She'll land outside on the cement. I've seen her in action before. She, yeah, she's got the belt on, man. She's the WWE Women's Champion. I didn't know that. So this is uh, on Bailey, usually wins the women's title. So I would not be surprised to see. Bailey walk away with a title before this match is over. Oscar had that belt before. I mean, so many. They pass these things around more than they pass around the freaking. Uh, oh, my. Volume just went out. I can't have that. 
Mm-hmm. People get me in trouble. I get, I get, uh, see, see how I just got monetized. I get these emails from YouTube right now pretty much every other day telling me what I can do and what I can't do. And they want me to complete my membership thing. I don't have a membership fucking thing. That's, um, that's not me. We work hard for our money. You know, if somebody wants to throw me a bone once in a while, that's cool. But I'm not going to fucking play that game. <laughs> that's just that's, that's, that, that, that's not some me, man. That's not some me. Samantha, Samantha's up there, man. She's looking hot on a WrestleMania night. Her hair's blowing in the wind. Bailey got the heavy duty face makeup on. The pierced nose. Having a little hissy fit in the ring, man. Bailey is definitely one tough broad. I bet she could bench 200, two and a quarter. Two and a quarter is probably the max. And Ioni Sky, hailing from Osaka, Japan. I don't know what they're saying, man, but God. Ioni Sky's got that belt. I, I think she got, I remember a while ago there was a thing where I think it was Ioni Sky got married and had to leave the, the WWE. She must have got divorced and came back. Money was probably too good, man. She didn't want to do doing those small shows around around the Fiji Islands. Nah, nah, nah. Let me get back to the WWE. Sign that six, seven figure paycheck. Become the woman's champion. I know, is Bailey going to take this title? This is WrestleMania. Let's see what's going to happen. Here we go, man. We're getting ready to start the match. This is also on Peacock. I see a, I see a Peacock emblem up there. So is this is this pay-per-view or is this, or is this Peacock? Is it Peacock free or is that a, is that a pay service? So I think I have that on my computer somewhere. I don't watch anything but YouTube anyway. What's not I watch a porn movie? But aside from that, man, I stay on boxing on YouTube. So I don't know, but I don't know too much about the Peacock or any of the other streaming services. Don't need them, don't want them. Here we go, man. The you know, Sky, very educated. Looks like she's got some uh, martial arts training. Throws jewel throw, tosses Bailey around Bailey from the outside of the ring. Bailey standing up at the, uh, the ring apron, going inside, smile on her face. The producer says, go ahead. They're at the collar, elbow, lock. Rolling, rolling around. Both of them roll each other out of the ring. I think they're going to do a couple of stalemate uh, moves here. Rolling with the punches. I appreciate you popping in and out, my brother. Bailey getting thrown back in the ring sky. Not not doing any sky flying yet. There's still there we go, man. You know, it's a little you can remember. It's it's in the fifties out there, bro. It's cold out there. They're right they're outside. These are ladies. And you're gonna see, you're gonna see what they didn't have the uh, she didn't have the dark top on you probably see nips coming through. You're gonna give these gals some credit, man. It's cold out there. They're used to performing in, in heated arenas, climate control. You, know, you, gotta, you get a lot of injuries when you're, when you're doing this out there in the cold with this. So they're, they're, their bodies are warmed up. They're not, not as fluid as they are on a SmackDown on Raw. Bailey looks like she got room for the better, more of a show than anything else. Let me toss the sky back in the ring. Women's wrestling in front of 70,000. Who'd have thunk it? Bailey trying to trying to, uh, to sneak a uh, sort of a drop kick in there on the outside of the ring. The sky's got her, she's got her against a turnbuckle, doing some manipulating with the knee. Oh, she's really got that leg lock on, Bailey outside the ring. Bailey's screaming, but it's an illegal hold, so the referee has to break it. Bailey is any man that knee is thrown out, blown out, whatever. 
Bailey's holding that knee. She's in the center ring. The only sky is looking at her wounded prey, going for that bad leg, man, slamming that bad leg down into the mat. L a forearm right across the chest. Sky is getting a little momentum, runs into a foot from Bailey. Bailey using that uninjured leg. Although Sky wraps that one up. Now Sky's got the injured leg. Boom. Kind of like a uh like a neck breaker on the ankle kind of a move. A lot of motion on that. Really brought it down. Bailey's withering in pain in the center ring. Sky just stomps that injured right knee. Doing a job on it, man. Once again, Bailey on her feet. Boston Bailey into the ropes. Bailey reverses it. Sky coming off the ropes. Catches her. It's kind of, kind of a twist. Sky comes out. Double foot stomp on Bailey's stomach. And these, these gals know what they're doing. They're, they're bouncing around, rolling around, coming around. High impact lady wrestling here. A fabulous move. You must be watching this from uh, wherever she's located right now. And uh, I'm sure she's got a smile on her face. Or maybe not. Maybe she's saying the money that these bitches are getting, I should have been getting. Oh, here we go. Elbows to the face outside the ring. Exchange of forearms. Sky drops Bailey. Bailey reverses, throws Sky over the. Uh, and, uh, what do we call that? The separating. Uh, used to be a rail. Crowd rail, it's all padded now. This would be like a bicycle rack. It used to have it around the ring. They get thrown in that thing, heads bounced off it. Now that's like a padded dash. Oh, guy tried to fly off the uh, top of that rail. Bailey caught her in midair, dropped her down with a body slam. Bailey trying to got a cover and start for a two count. Bailey with that running knee. I think Bailey's trying to probably about midway through this match. Bailey's unloading with forearms and fists. He tries to break him up. Referee's got to be careful in there. It's probably going to have a female referee with, with uh, women wrestling. But anyway, Bailey's got her in a fireman's carry. Drops her down on her back. Some kind of a suplex. Sky just kicks out at two. Bailey is favoring that right knee. Bailey's got the black and blue hair. Once again, man, you know, you got an injured knee and you go for the top rope. Does that make sense? Not to me. Boom, Sky kind of jumps and Bailey sells that punch, man. Bailey is doing all kind of crazy dance after getting hit. There goes Sky. That's why they call her Sky. Drop kicks Bailey off that top turnbuckle. Bailey goes down onto the, the ring apron. Goes the outside of the ring. There goes Sky. Sky's getting up to the highest she can get in that ring. And oh, she flips a oh man. Talk about. Throw caution to the wind. Does a, a 360 flip off that top of the turnbuckle. Lands on to Bailey. Gets right back up on her feet like she just kind of stepped off of a, a step ladder. I mean, amazing acrobatics of this uh, Ioni Sky. Throws Bailey back in the ring. Getting ready to uh, launch herself off the top rope. And she does with a beautiful drop kick. Nails Bailey. I wonder if she's a champ. I mean, she's got every move in the book. This lady's got more moves than a bottle of prune juice. And there she goes, man. She's uh, she's got Bailey in all kind of trouble. Bailey is usually done the tactician, but no, the only sky is uh, and then they go to little uh, switcheroo with the uh, waist locks. Must have switched it about three, four times a piece. Sky goes over. Bailey tries to flip her over. There goes Bailey with a sunset flip. 
Oh, she was too close to the turnbuckle. That neck smashed hard against that bottom turnbuckle. Bailey is once again holding that knee. Oh, and Bailey's got him in a little small package. Nope, that's not going to work. Bailey's still going to get these. Uh, oh, yeah, man. These chicks are something, man. This is uh, Bailey's business. I, I thought Bailey was, was about the best out there until I saw wrong. Uh, I just saw Sky now, and then we got the uh, Bianca Belair, and uh, there was there was some crazy chicks last night wrestling. Man, they had one that was almost nude. She had like a nude bodysuit on, and a little thong on. And she was like strong as hell. She was uh, like out of some some fucking cartoon character. I can't even remember her name. Of course I can't. I'm sure we'll see more of her. Her. Look at a beautiful belly to belly, belly to back suplex with a bridge. Those are the kind that Brock Lesnar uses. Brock Lesnar will give you 10 of those before the, the matches are 15 minutes old. You want to be able to walk the next day. It looks like that's what Sky is trying to do to Bailey over here. And there goes Sky, man. Sky's ready to take it home. I don't know, man. I think Bailey's going to have to have a little bit more offense in this move, but there goes Sky right to the top ropes. 360. Oh, and Bailey catches her with the knee, with that bad knee. Bailey's withering in pain. Catches Sky to the midsection with the knee as Sky's coming down. I mean, really, man. These are some crazy chicks on here. I think Bailey sees her opening with the bad knee and all. Just recently banged up knee within the last few seconds. Is able to make it to the top rope, support her body. Elbow smash misses. Sky reverses it. Sky's got to reverse like a like a fucking uh, a label lock. Bailey turns her over. Counts count it two. There goes Bailey elbow to the back of the head. I think this match is going to be over soon. There goes that that label lock again. She's got that label lock cinched in. Beautiful move. That's the one that Daniel Long. Uh, Daniel Sun used to use all the time. Daniels, Daniel, whatever, whatever his name was, but they go sky once again gets him in the center ring. I mean, incredible. There's that, uh, that Bob Backlund, that uh, that double face lock, leg lock move they used to use. Bailey's getting ready to tap out. Bailey doesn't want to do it. Bailey has nowhere to go. Trying to reverse that move. Elbows are way out of it. Oh, man. This. These chicks are tough, baby. This is so they're putting on a hell of a show. Bailey gets be belly to belly suplex. That's the Bailey to belly suplex. That's her move. One, two, and a two and a half, man. Unbelievable. Unbelievable female wrestling action here, man, on the WrestleMania. They're in in the in the coldness, the coldest outdoors in Lincoln Financial Field in the city of Philadelphia. I can't believe my man, Terrible Tim Witherspoon, is not an honored guest over here, a dignitary in combat sports living in Philadelphia. I got a call. I should call him right now, but I don't, I don't want to call him now because uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get off the track of, of professional wrestling. But I'm going to call him tomorrow and, and uh, explain to him what went on. And Oh, Bailey comes up, slaps the guy across the face. Is this going to get personal? Boom! My only sky slaps Bailey across the face, puts her on her ass. Bailey right up with a forearm. Forearm sky about six times in the side of the head. Another Bailey to belly. Sky reverses it. Tries to almost gets Bailey in a pin. Sky is an incredible. I mean, Sky has got some amazing moves. Suplex, knee to the back. Ah, man. She's going to go to that top rope. She lands this knee now. This match is over. Gets on that top rope like a cat. Unbelievable. 360. And she nails Bailey. This has got to be it. One, two. Oh, two and a half again. Man, you got to. Why don't people, people that, are, that don't like professional wrestling, how can you not dig something like this? Bailey's holding that knee, withering on the ground. The only sky, she doesn't know what happened. She unloaded her best shots on Bailey. 
Bailey is still standing or laying, as we say. But uh, once again, she tries a uh, she tries the uh, those three sixty presses. That was two two in a row from the top rope. She's going to try another one. A third. Oh, and Bailey gets out of the way. She, Bailey misses. She misses Bailey coming up here. Bailey's got some move going on here. Some arm breaker. Sky just unbelievable. Sky counters that. Does a 360, lands on her feet, waiting for Bailey to get up. Cat, Bailey, instead, Bailey catches her with a, with a forearm and a clothesline as she's coming in. I mean, unbelievable. Unbelievable stuff. This is a family affair going on here. Yo, yo, traveling fools, my brother. Welcome to WrestleMania. And once again, Bailey with that Bailey the belly suplex. I think Bailey's gone for the top rope, man. This could be an upset. This could be the changing of the guard. I kind of had a funny feeling Bailey was going to take this match. Bailey's on the top rope with an elbow, lands on Sky with it, Macho Man style, off the top rope. What's Bailey going to do now? Looks like Bailey's getting ready for some kind of oh some oh some kind of a, a fucking some suplex or something. Sky on her head. Down for the count of three, a new ladies champion. No, a count of two. Oh, no, no, it wasn't three. They, they panned out with the camera like, yes, it was three. Okay, man. Bailey, Bailey won it. Bailey won the title. Man, they, they fucked me over. I thought they uh, I thought they were screwing around here, but nope. That elbow was too much. I knew it would be. Bailey came through like a champ at the end. She took everything. Did I only sky had the dish out at her, man? Woo! Another great match at WrestleMania. How can you not be a fan of wrestling on today? On WrestleMania. This is incredible. This is live on Peacock. I think Peacock is free out there. If you want to watch it, make sure you listen to me, though. Nobody calls it like me. I'm like Vince McMahon Jr. over there. You know, Jesse the Body and Vince and Mean Gene all rolled into one. They didn't smoke nearly as much weed as I smoke. They're showing the sky in slow motion, doing that amazing Skywalker shit going on there, yeah, man. I should call Skywalker, see if he needs another window cleaner. He'd be great up there on the 16th floor. I mean, amazing skills from these ladies. I'm sorry. I, I, I like ladies wrestling more than I like ladies boxing. Did they not give you the, um, your money's worth, our money's worth, our time? Time is money. When somebody ever asks you about buying a pay-per-view, you don't contribute to the box, you, know, you tell them time is money. And I'll tell you one thing, man. We've gotten our money's worth out of WrestleMania tonight. That looks like, my, oh, somebody just like Macho Man sitting on the second row. I thought that was Mitch Green for some Seventy plus thousand people over here. Unbelievable. Boxing promoters, take note of this. This is how you're gonna make your dough. You're gonna put on live gates like this a whole card for a main event boxers going at it. Buck pay-per-view, that's that's history. I should have, JD, but I didn't. Should have, would have, could have. But I am right now. That's the way I look at it, you know? Bailey leaving with a world championship title. Bailey got that big smile on that face with those two nose rings in there. They're probably going to go go in the back room, rub each other down, have a little cognac, man, maybe smoke a big fatty. See what's going down. Yeah, telling you, wrestling's making the tour, man. And then Lakeville, Florida, Fort Myers, Fort Lauderdale. I mean, they're all they're all over the fucking country. These guys tore more all than the Rolling Stones did back in the seventies. I used to go to wrestling matches all the time too, man. Me, I used to take the old lady. We've been. To, I used to go myself. I used to go to the Civic Center with with the boys. We sit at a place called the Royal Roost. It was, um, you know, it was, it was like above the Civic Center, on top of the top row. But you, you could see beautifully. You could see the ring beautifully. They served drinks up there. They served food up there. Awesome place. And the thing was, 
most of the people in the civic center, the, the 10,000 people below, most of the people didn't know about it or they thought it was too expensive or out of their reach or something. But it was great, man. You go there, you see a concert, you could sit up there and, and have a few, have a few cold ones, have some chicken wings or whatever, and, um, and walk right back down to your seat again. And I, I can tell you some stories about, about different musicians I met up there, different wrestlers I met up there. But uh, let's get back to WrestleMania. They're, they're talking about uh, backlash. They're going to wrestling going to be live from Lyon, France, man. Saturday, May 4th. I won't be watching that one. They got me for WrestleMania. I'm a fan today. Back to boxing after this, man. I'm going to be calling. I got a, a quiz coming up on, fr on Friday night. We're going to be calling live boxing on Saturday night. And uh, and Lord knows. Okay, they're showing the dignitaries at ringside, man. They're cold, but they still got there. They're still showing some skin. George Kittle. Kittel, Kittle, I don't know. T Pain. I mean, it's definitely the place to be, bro. They should have my man Tim with us for me. He'd have credentials. And he'd be one of these cats at ringside. And they'd put him up there, show his name, and everybody would remember who he is and who's this here. Vanessa, Vanessa Hudgens. Lily Sign. Man, am I am I out in the am I out in the fucking ozone? I don't know who these frauds are. Apparently they're big enough to be uh Tell them, Phil, tell them. Drop the kid a super chat, right? The Philadelphia Eagles cheerleaders over there, man. What match are we getting ready for? See, they don't fool around here. This isn't like boxing. They keep this ball rolling. Oh, here we go. There, there he is, man. He must have been in the back room getting on some of that medical stuff, you know? Probably edibles. I think um, I think P. Diddy's, I think he's got his own brand of edibles out now and then certain dispensaries probably double the price of the generic brands but hey he's a i think he's in the wrestling hall of fame he's been hanging with the wrestlers for a while calling the match so i think he even take i think he even took a, a stunner or something back in the day but man definitely shout out to, to fucking p diddy <laughs> How acceptable is weed? You got the the prince of the the, the prince of pot up there. Yeah, he's, he's in a, a a weed illegal state, so we can't have you can't even have the props on, on the stage. And I get, you know, they said he quit smoking. This is into edibles. Lincoln Financial Field this weekend. 14, over 140,000 in attendance. So that was 70 plus thousand last night. 70 plus thousand tonight. How many of those 100,000 you think were the same people that had tickets for both nights? Let's say quite a few. Yeah, when you got the dough, bro, you buy the whole package, right? Front row on the package deal. Man, I'll tell you, this song, I said it before and I don't get sick of saying it. This this garlic, uh, garlic cookies, interesting name. A hybrid Girl Scout cookies and some kind of kush. I got the name Garlic Cookies. Cody Rhodes is in a main event tonight, man. Cody Rhodes going for a world title. That's another thing, man. The son of Dusty. Is he going to walk away from WrestleMania with a belt tonight? Interesting stuff. He always seems to come short. He takes on Roman Reigns. They just showed him right now. Getting real close to winning the title. One of Roman's henchmen. One of the, um, the Uzo brothers. I forget which one it is. Jimmy or Jay. Came in and nailed Cody with a, a 
elbow. Cody didn't win the title. And Cody's pissed. Cody wants to win the belt now. Of course, he's got the blonde hair and the brown hair. Son of a plumber, son of the son of the son of a plumber. And they all point out to honor the great Dusty Rhodes. I've seen Dusty many times in, in live, tons of times on TV, watching through the NW, the NXT, the farm system. Heard wrestlers talk about how he inspired them behind the scenes. And this was a guy who lived the life. Bro. His forehead was like a road map. He had so many scars in that thing, man. He was cut up. But yeah, they're getting ready for the uh, probably the yeah about ten o'clock. This gets over at eleven, so if I can have the two main events now back to back. And Cody, Cody Rhodes is in one. And is that the only one? Is that going to be the? Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure. I think there's going to be some some other matches happening. Whatever they are, bro, we're going to be here because uh, we're covering WrestleMania. This is one of the uh, one of the mores on my on my uh, my my name. Bruce Gas, boxing jazz, and more. Professional wrestling is the uh, I think it's the fourth one of the list, next to the weed. I'm gonna do a. I think I'm gonna put together a, a jazz trivia quiz too. Jazz trivia contest for the cash prize. I'm gonna okay that with my wife. See what's up. We're gonna. I can put together an awesome uh, jazz trivia contest, multiple choice, and um, and we'll see if any jazz fans out there, man, maybe they'll enjoy participating in that, showing off their jazz skills. I know Carlos Mendoza showed off his boxing knowledge. Traveling fools the other night, man. We had a we had our first boxing trivia, you know, like practice round Friday, and uh, and man, I had you know very knowledgeable people. I got a I gave real really easy questions. This week it's going to be tough. So I can't say study. All I can say is if you know it, make sure you make sure you take your silk protein, which is a memory enhancement supplement. We're getting ready. I think we're getting ready for the uh, for the Cody Rhodes. And I don't know who he's wrestling either, man. So Rock has got to have something to do with this. Roman Reigns is going to have something to do. Roman Reigns might be his opponent. I don't know. This was, uh, Cody was bummed out. It was, it was like some stipulated match last night at WrestleMania. And Cody got the bum end of it. So there's, um, there's something involved here where he's getting, uh, he's like, uh, uh, he's the B-side, 60-40. He's not the house fighter. So he's got to overcome another big obstacle here on WrestleMania Sunday to try to take the, uh, the world championship. We've got one world title change hands tonight. Let's see if we have another one change hands. Roman reigns no more. I'm going to have the dynasty, the Samoan dynasty against the Rhodes dynasty. Do it for Dusty. I mean, I'll tell you that, that spear from, from Roman reigns. So that's how he beat Brock Lesnar for the title with that spear. Cody just is, just seems too small. I always, ever since I saw Cody, I said, man, Cody is going to get hurt. There we go. They killed about as much time as they could. The stars are out. It's fairly cloudy out there. 
I guess we the stars are out. I'm looking over the bay right now. Like my camera broke again. I showed I showed you guys the other night what it looked like out my living room window. I gotta have my G come down and fix my camera once again. I don't have the uh, the camera set up outside anymore. But yeah, is that Roman Reigns dressed up in the tribal chief outfit? No, this is this is Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes has got this uh this crazy this crazy jacket with the eagles on it. Cody looks Cody looks like he's tripping. The red, white, and blue, the all American, the skull. Cody's beautiful wife. I don't know, man. Is Cody going to win the title tonight? Hmm. I'm going to ask that imaginary eight ball. Is Cody going to win the big one? What do you think? What are the odds? Let's check it out. Let's see. Let's, let's see if they have odds on this. On this play. The odds on the Cody Rhodes Roman Reigns WrestleMania. Here's a result from the web. Oh, what's the result? Roman Reigns is usually a minus 3,000 in these matches. But this feels like the end of the line for his four-year reign. It's hard to imagine what the WWE would look like without Roman Reigns in the main event. Let's see. So they got the uh, we actually have odds in here. Roman Reigns is a minus three thousand, according to uh, if you've got a bet on it. The Rock and Roman Reigns versus Cody and Seth Rollins. That was last night. What about the uh, wow, this baby. LA Knight minus 600, minus 600 over AJ Styles. Man, they got these fucking, they got the odds for these fights. Logan Paul was the minus 300 versus Kevin Owens and Randy Orton. Damn. Unbelievable. Let's check out this one here, man. Jay Uzo and Jimmy Uzo. We saw that one yesterday. Rhea Ripley. Yep, Rhea Ripley. Beat Becky Lynch. Drew McIntyre was there. Minus 400. We will set the Rollins tonight. I wish I had caught these before this started, man. Cody Rhodes is a minus 250 versus Roman Reigns. Cody Rhodes is the favorite in this pile, baby. I don't know. I don't know if I'd, uh, if I'd go that far. But um, according to this according to this gambling house here, they've got Cody Rhodes as a minus 275. I'm ready, De Niro. I think this was going to be a good one, brother. This is the main event. You know they're going to put on a, a good 45-minute match. These guys are going to go back and forth. Blood, I wouldn't doubt it. And then we're going to check out, and we'll see it to the very end, man. I mean, Cody Rhodes, this, this dude was just born to be a fucking champion. You know, he was suplex from the moon. This guy, this guy, he, he don't know. He, he, he wasn't fucking. The doctor didn't slap him. The doctor gave him a fucking standing neck breaker. I mean, this, <laughs> this is real wrestling. Real, real wrestling right now. This is as good as it gets in the fucking world of pro wrestling. Cody's in that ring. He's paying homage to the god. He's looking up at the at the ring lights, man. Talking to his dad. This is his big moment. Really blow this one. There's the corporation, and remember, it's not Vince anymore. 
There's the board, the corporation, they're gonna do what's best for business. My fingers are so sticky with this stuff. <laughs> Good buzz kicking. Roman Reigns making his way to ringside. He got the some kind of a tribal band out there playing their stuff, man. Then he's got a choir. If he's going out, he's going out in style. It's probably some Philadelphia choir. I don't know who it is, man. Like I said, I don't have my my buds kind of went. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And they were acting funny on me, so we're just gonna have to wing it, play it from memory. But there goes Roman Reigns, man. He looks like a freaking statue. You got Paul Heyman, unbelievable Paul Heyman holding up the rear, raising that that title. Is it for the last time? I don't know, man. I don't know. We're gonna find out soon. They're getting ready. The shit's about to hit the fan. WrestleMania 40, they're calling this, man. I'm still calling it 39. I can't. You know, I do the math. 1985 to 19 to 2022. That's, that's 49. Eh? You can even go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And, uh, and we're getting it right. But, uh, but Roman is, is walking that aisle now, man. That long aisle. I wonder what it cost to rent uh, the rent Lincoln Financial Field tonight for the, for the weekend. No, no, no football game going there. It doesn't look like it's a baseball stadium. Then again, I don't know. They can they, they can put these ramps in in, in, a, in a shift. Set that ring up, get all these electric electronics in there, get the pyros going on, all the all the high-tech lighting. And it, it is too. You're outside of this clouds in the air, so you can't see it like you can inside the arena. But man, it's, it's an amazing light show. WrestleMania, that's like this is the Super Bowl of simply put. And that band is playing. Roman Reigns is taking it in, man. He's the tribal chief. I'm sure you. I'm sure you got all the all the family sitting ringside. The, the Fatus, the Johnsons, the Snookers. There was really only one, uh, only one women's match last night and one tonight. So they didn't have a lot of um, a lot of ladies at us. Spreading it out over two days, different. Better, I don't know, man. Whatever they do, it's okay. It's it's fucking free, and we're digging on it. We even made a couple of bucks tonight doing it. So everything is beautiful out here, bro. Sunday night, Roman in the center ring, raising that WWE championship belt. Is that the world title or is that the WWE title? They, you know, they got the two of them now. It's crazy. Mick Smith. Mick Smith is my bro. Is he in here, man? Hope you got some good weed tonight, Mick Smith. You got to be stoned tonight. I'm pretty much hitting my peak. Oh, Pat, uh, what's that dude's name? Pat McAfee. Is that his name? Pat, uh, Pat something. Man. He's got the, the ringside announcer, former NFL kicker. He got his own YouTube channel. Cody oh, got that crazy tattoo on his neck. Though. Red, white, and blue in Texas. Is that what it is? I'm not sure, man. That'd be an eagle. 
Yeah. But that announcer, man, she's at the top of her game over here. I wish I could put it on, but I can't. But we appreciate you on all our platforms tonight. We're, uh, we're flying high on Twitter, on Facebook, and of course, our old standby YouTube over here. And Cody is getting his announcement. And I want to thank the good folks at Spike Up TV for allowing this reception. Cody looks like he went to the tanning booth today. Gotta watch out for them things. Believe me. One more before the main event. <laughs> And that rest that referee man. They used to call him Little Nate. He used to look just like Ric Flair. He looks different now. Man. He got older. He's been around for 25, 30 years in the WWE. But Roman Reigns, man, Roman looks lean and cut. He he had, Roman definitely had some surgery done because Roman always used to wear that, that shirt, that heavy duty. Kind of a heavy tank top and covered up, covered up his imperfections. I think he might have had a, a tear in his pec, or maybe a, 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 a little deformity in his abs. But I think he went and had the surgery went under the knife, and now he's got the he's got the chisel look going on. Yeah, referee man, what the hell is that kid doing? Hitches and hitches. Think of it in a second. But he was uh he used to hang around with Rick Flair. He was Rick Flair's valet for a while. Electro hit on Mendoza at the point of loser. Oh Mr. P. You gotta be happy. You gotta love me here, bro. You gotta enjoy. You gotta enjoy wrestling first of all, and then second of all, you gotta spread the love. Spread that love. And once again, here we go. The crowd's going wild. Seventy thousand strong. Everybody's on their feet. You yeah, have these people. They got. They got fucking winter jackets on. You got hats on. And it's cold in here. I got my fucking hoodie on. I'm a cheap bastard, though. I have to turn my heat on. I didn't. So I keep it like 66, 67. I wear a sweatshirt and a hat. In the summer, it's freaking 90 in here. I get the sun down here. It's hot in the summers. Yeah, they're drumming it out in the center of me right now, man. I'm face to face. Roman Reigns has probably got 35 pounds on. on uh, Cody Rhodes. Cody goes for the leg lock. Reigns hooks him back into the ropes. Cody backs off. Roman's already bitching with the crowd. Here they go. Cody circles around. The waist lock going. Roman Reigns busts out with an elbow. Doesn't go for the reverse. Breaks out, goes out with an elbow to the jaw. It's Cody in a headlock. Cody throws him off into the ropes, tackles him down. Cody goes down hard. Roman Reigns pointing upstairs, man. Tribal chief, number one. Looking at Cody like, man, yeah, you bounce off me like a mosquito, son. Now, Roman is definitely, he, he looks off. He looks chiseled and cut. A lot different than I've seen in the past. And it's, you know, when you, when you don't watch this, you don't watch it this often, you see those changes. It's not a gradual change, it's a sudden change. So it's like, you don't see, it's like when you, you don't see one of your friends, you see a couple of years later. Mm. 
If you look good, or you will see good. But anyway, man, time. Time does funny things to us all. Hmm? Hmm, okay. Mr. P. Oh, shot to the nuts and went to the job by Cody Rhodes. Cody, oh, Cody, uh, Roman Reigns tries to tries to shoot the spear. Cody gets out of the way. Roman hits the turnbuckle. Gets spun around. Stands outside the ring. Cody's uh, going under the ring looking for a... What's he going to get? A chair under there? Nice. Nah, he's going out of the table. He's already... Cody's uh, pushing the table in the ring. And Roman Reigns nails him when he's paying attention to the table. Roman Reigns nails him to the side of the head with a drop kick. How oh, Roman's taking that table. I don't think Roman wants that table in the ring. Unless he bashes it over the head of Cody Rhodes now. Nope, Roman's just... Ah, Roman's throwing that table back under the ring. Uh, <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> Roman does not want that table. I don't know why, man. He's an expert at, at tables. But he reverses it. Roman was going to throw him into the... the, uh, the the steel steps. Cody reverses it, and Roman goes into the steel steps. Uh, Roman's down on all fours. Cody grabs Roman, picks him up, walks him around, throws him back in the ring. Cody getting on the, jumping through the ropes himself, getting into the ring. Cody is very serious. Roman takes off. Cody grabs him by the hair. Oh, he got a kindle stick from under the ring. Those deadly kindle sticks. I don't know why they're all over the place, but man, they are, man. I don't know what they use them for. They must use them to tighten up the bottom rope or something, but uh, these guys are pulling those kindle sticks out of their fucking ass over here. We've already seen them. The first match, they shredded one of them, man. They shredded four of them. That six-man tag match with, uh, with Lashley and uh, and the Street Profits. Oh, Roman Reigns is lining them up with that, getting ready to hit a home run, and there he goes, man, misses. Swinging them as Cody grabs it now. Cody's going to turn the title, turn the tides. Cody misses. And I think that Kindle stick is out of the action, man. Cody goes for a flying bulldog. Roman plants Roman face down. Oh, my stream just froze on me. Let me get back into it. Come on, guys. Cody's got a figure four leg lock on him. He came back on and uh, Cody's got that devastating figure four that I was talking about earlier. Oh, I had that on some dude in the ball and I won myself 20 bucks. That's a way to get out of it. The guy never gave me that face rig like that. There goes Roman. He's up. He's favoring those legs, man. Cody, his dad was a master of that figure four. Won several world titles with that figure four. Roman favoring that knee. Everybody's having knee problems tonight. I don't know if it's the weather or whatever it is, man. Once again, man, Roman Reigns is telling Cody Rhodes, no, 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 Roman's in charge. Roman smashes Cody's head into the padded turnbuckle. Heads over to another one. Boom, once again, Cody kisses that turnbuckle. Going for the third turnbuckle. One more time. Busses Cody outside the ring. Cody on his hands and knees. Roman going out. Let's see the referee count here. Watching Cody into the crowd over the barrier. Roman going out there after. Oh, 
Somebody must have touched Roman. He was going to give one of the you know, fans. He was going to give somebody in the crowd a backhand that thought better of it. I'm catching the finger from all angles. People know better, man. You lay your hands on a, on a wrestler, you just sign your own death certificate. You know, you might get a small settlement if you can prove that uh, it was unprovoked, but uh, chances are if he catches you in the act, the cameras caught you in the act too. So uh, a word of the wise, keep your hands off these motherfuckers. You think you're helping one of them out, man, and the both of them will turn on you. But anyway, man, I think we're going to see some. Uh, I think we're going to see some uh, high flying, high flying action over here. Yeah, somewhere outside the ring. Somewhere outside the ring, in, in, in the crowd, man. Looks like they're on the uh, ring announcers' tables, maybe. They're elevated somewhere. Oh, suplex them. They're on some kind of a table. Oh. Paul Heyman grimacing when he sees the uh, when he saw that suplex. Roman Reigns catches it square on his back, and Cody's looking like a man possessed now. He wants to win that title. Look out, man! Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes smells the long evasive WWE Heavyweight Championship of the World is just at his fingertips. He's gonna defeat Roman Reigns at WrestleMania in the big one for the big one. I got my, my trusty vape over here too, bro. Yep, there's that dude at ringside that sits up. He's at every match. I don't know if you're watching it now, but that cat with the green shirt on with the with the tan hat. That guy's been on for years and years. He's been at every main event, every pay-per-view, WrestleMania, King of the Ring, Slump, Summer Slam, whatever it is, he's there. I've never seen him miss a one. Even during the COVID, maybe not during the COVID, but he's, he's, he's always there. Same seat, too. Beautiful suplex by Roman Reigns. Cody pops off the ring. Only has him for one count. Cody does not want his shoulders on the mat. Not even for a second. Roman Reigns is putting the pressure on Cody's shoulder. Roman Reigns. He's still... Looking like he's got some points to prove in this match. Cody's down on all fours, holding his chin, man. Roman had that Roman had that knee on Cody's on Cody's neck. Referee's name is Rich. I can't think of his last name. In fact, the WWE just doesn't even name them anymore. They don't even have names. They're just officials. They stopped giving them names years ago. You, didn't, you notice that? They used to have names, man. They, they, they all, you know, you knew who they were, but now they are simply officials. Roman Reigns has got a face lock. He's got an overhead. Overhand, a side neck lock, the side of, of Cody Rhodes. It looked like he could put him to sleep with that hold if he put pressure on it. Stop the flow of, brain, of blood from by blocking the carotid arteries. Stop the flow of blood to the brain. And uh, Dustin could possibly go out if he stayed in that hole too long. But no, he's going for some shots. Big elbow by fucking Roman Reigns. Dustin, size-wise, Roman Reigns is, is overpowering. Dustin Rhodes, man, picks him up. Dustin using that lighter weight to his advantage, going over the top of Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns with a nice jack, jackknife suplex, fisherman suplex. Cody kicks out of it at two. Roman was looking for the count of three. 
Fisherman suplex, that's the one Kurt Angle used to use. And you they shoot the bridge at the end. Hey, cue ball, what's up, buddy? Good to see you in here, my man. We're watching the main event of WrestleMania. Been here for, wow, three hours. Time's gone by when you're having fun, man. Rhodes is sitting on the bottom rope in the corner. Roman Reigns unloading some heavy fists to the head. Chasing him from turnbuckle to turnbuckle. I know, that's Cody's used kind of his best stuff, but we always have some dramatic shit happening at WrestleMania. Mr. P, you had some good tunes on there today. Vic Smith, catch, catch Yoka live, all-time all great drummer. Don't come postman bullshit in here, Vic Smith. Keep it real. Keep it boxing. Or today wrestling. Oh, beautiful super kick by Cody. Rhodes kick. Rhodes, double. I got lost. There was so much action going on. Double clothesline. They both went on their ass. I can feel the love out there with you guys, man. I can feel the love. And here we go, man. They're both tired. They're both sitting on their ass in center ring. Both exchanging some kind, some super kicks. Looks like, uh, as a matter of fact, Roman Reigns, he does look like something something like um, like Steven Seagal yeah, he's almost got those kicks those famous moves of Steven Seagal so Steven Seagal's got about 100 pounds on him he likes going to that Burger King buying those double walkers by the dozen but they're exchanging Cody's going downstairs and upstairs both of these guys, man, they're doing what fighters do. They're punching each other's heads right now. Cody's unloading. Cody throws him up. He reverses it, throws it, throws bounces Cody off the ropes. Cody comes on with a flat forearm. Ducks under power slam. Power slams the reins in the center ring. Cody's feeling it now, bro. He's feeling it. Cody's got some devastating finishing moves. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Yep, here we go. He's gone. Some of these uh these side these moves off the off the second rope man when he's standing. He's got some amazing, amazing finishing moves. And here we go. Here we go. They're both both back on their feet. Cody looks like a man possessed. Cody picks up Roman Reigns. He told him something in the air. He might be getting ready to take it home. The finishing move. Up, uh, up. Uh. That's that's uh. Roman Reigns nails Cody with his own move. Only for a two and a half count. Incredible. That's that's uh. That's Cody's move, man. That's Cody's finishing move. Roman Reigns is bummed right now. Once again, as usual, he's unloaded all his guns. He's looking at Paul Heyman. What do I have to do? Roman has got another move in his arsenal. That, that black finger. What's up with that? I haven't been following it recently to know what's up with that. Is that just uh that's just what he does or is he use is he stick that black finger somewhere? Oh here we go, the uh his famous Superman punch. Missed it. 
Boom, Cody goes and nails him with the jabs. Cody's going to go for the, 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 the old uh, Dusty Rhodes shots. The elbow to the top of the head, bang, the bionic elbow. Cody's looking up, man. Cody's looking up. Too bad his brother Dustin was in that ringside. Oh, Roman's under the rock. Roman's laying down. Pulled his head like he's out. What happened here? What the fuck happened? Oh, he's gonna throw those monitors. They have to go pick those up, hook them up again, get this get the fishing out there when they do this between matches. Oh no, my team froze on me. I gotta I gotta refresh it. Bear with me, bear with me. Go click there and click there. And click there, and we uh we have the we have action, we have contact. Picking them up for a power bomb through the table, through the announcer's table. Boom! Perfect shot. That's just what they want to do. Cody went right through the announcer's table. He's gonna need a couple of Cody's to for that back. Roman once again with a Superman punch, nails him with it. I don't know. I don't think he's gonna pin him with that. Nope, nope. You gotta knock these guys pretty much out cold to pin them. That was a that was a pretty good repertoire of finishing moves, but uh, Dustin doesn't stand for it. Dustin's kicking out at the count of two. Good night, Mr. P. Thank you much for stopping by. Thank you much for that super chat, brother. And here we go, man. We're back in center ring. This match is going to be in the autumn stages, bro. It's going to be getting getting towards the uh, towards the end. I don't know, man. This, this usually stays on to about 11, so we might still have a little bit more action. These guys got a little, couple more. They got a little more time on their clock before they can punch that clock. Once again, Roman Reigns looks like he's getting ready. Oh, he was going to, I don't know what he was going to do, but he didn't land Cody. Cody with a freaking uh, stunner off the off the second rope. I don't think that's going to work, man. That's not going to pin him. Nope. That's the count of two. What you should have done is you should have given him another one or put him in some kind of a fucking submission move and then fucked him up with a finishing move because you... You, know, you need an array of finishing moves. And back in the day, you give the guy one DDT and the match was over. One fucking, one fucking uh, elbow drop off the top ropes, he wasn't getting up. You know, those flying clotheslines, they were, they were finishing moves. Now, they, they do that in every match. They do it five, six times. And the guy kicks out of that too. Crazy. Roman just got... Just, just got Cody a little tied up. Big, big backdrop coming up here. Yep. Oh, no. Cody holds on. Roman gets flipped over. A little action back and forth. And Cody with a spear. Cody tries to pin. Oh, it looked real close, but it was only a two count. Cody standing behind him. Is it going to be a belly to back suplex? Grabs him by the hair. He's got that. Uh, there we go, man. This is the uh, that, that fucking finishing move that he's got. I forget what he calls it, man. Oh, one of the Uzos just ran in and nailed him with a super kick. The bad boy Uzo. Is that Jay? The referee doesn't know what to do. Is it a not no disqualification match? Bad Uzo coming in the ring to try to save his man, Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns with a Superman punch. Is that going to be? Is that going to be a disqualification? That's a pretty poor way to end the match. And here comes the other Uzo. I forget which one is the good guy, which one is the bad guy. But you got Jimmy and you got Jay in there right now. And the Uzos are going at it with each other. I have to come at ringside now, man. Oh, 
These guys were doing nothing but throwing super kicks at each other. Like two guys would be punching each other. These guys were doing super kicks and man, a fucking uh, a spear off the fucking uh, off the ramp down to the floor. We've been getting a match set up there. I'll tell you, just just so happened to have a match set up there and they, and they both landed on it. Oh, there goes the spear by Roman Reigns. Could that be it? Oh, two and a half. Man, talk about dramatics over here. Austin and Cena. I wish, bro. This is what they gave us up. I think my, uh, I can go back to my music and No, they're back again. It's, it's there. That's from the YouTube library in case any of you content creators don't have any, you, know, you, you don't know what to do in the, in the backgrounds. Just throw some of this shit on. It's like an elevator, but keep your bop in your head as long as you're keeping your head right. So, uh, that's, that, that's one of my freebies in Bruce Gas 101 broadcasters. It's going to be coming up soon. So uh, keep your eyes up. Keep your eyes open and your checkbooks open. So uh, pay attention here, man. And once again, Cody Rhodes is, is in a uh, front face lock by Roman Reigns. Both of them go flying out of the ring. Both land on the outskirts, on the mat, on the outside of the ring. Nobody around them. Cody walking around. Is he looking under the ring for something? Ah, my lips are getting dry here. Beautiful spear by Cody Rhodes. Sends sends Roman Reigns through the barrier. Cody looks like he injured his ribs a little with that one, though, man. These guys are giving our all tonight. <laughs> Once again, Rome again tossed in the ring. Cody on all fours crawling in. What's he going to do that he hasn't already done? He's going to have to do a repeat of those finishing moves. There he is. Yep, he's doing that. End of days. Kind of a, I don't know what, I don't know what he's calling it, but it's, it's a variation on that. That, that kind of a move. One more. Three in a row. Three's the charm. Oh, oh. That other crazy guy, the, uh, the other, um, the other small with the thumb. What's his name? Fucking Solo. I've seen him a couple of times, too. And he's got the, He's got a thumb that's, uh, see that, that right thumb of his with the gauze tape on it? He hits you in the throat with that thumb out. Nah, that's it, man. Paralyze you. He's pulling, he's pulling Roman over Cody. Cody kicks out. He thought he was going to save Roman. This must be a no disqualification match. And they're all coming down strategically at the right time. You figure Cody would have his brother there, you know, to, to come in and run some interference for him. But uh, Solo was looking at the prone body of Cody Rhodes. This is this is fucking crazy, though. Man. You know, but outside of the parents and it's legal. Why are you just having there for the whole duration of the match? He's pounding Cody's head with that heavily wrapped right hand. He's telling Roman Reigns, "Come on, come on, get him, get him, come on, get him." This is the family, man. You know, this is the. This is the tribe. Roman Reigns, head chieftain. There we go. He's holding up Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns once again getting ready for a spear. Cody gets nailed with a spear. How can he survive this? One, two. He kicks out at two. Unfreaking believable, man. Unbelievable. What do you think? You think Cody's going to come back to win after this? After that beating he's taken by the Usos? By fucking Solo? By, uh... Oh, here we go. Here comes 
John Cena. All right, here we go, man. <laughs> you know, John. You know, if it's WrestleMania, John Cena is gonna make the scene. He's got the jorts on. Ah, oh, bro, was halfway over the rope before Cena got near him. A little attitude adjustment. Roman Reigns getting out of the ring fast. No, he's oh. Cena's got, Cena's got a job to do here, man. He didn't just come in to throw a shot or two. He's going to throw the uh, solo through the table. This guy's going to go through it, too. The weight he's got, but boom, no problem there. No question about it. It goes right through that table. Man, look at how old Cena looks now, too. I'm glad I don't look that old. But, man, I'll tell you, it's amazing. And who's this coming in the ring? Is this The Rock? I kind of had a feeling that Rock would be here before this match was over. Yep, it's the great one. Here we go. Here we go, man. This is uh, a little action going on. These guys went out of WrestleMania 10 years ago or something like that, man. Here we go. Here we go. You wanted old-time stuff, bro? Here you go. You got it, man. Cena and The Rock. Stone Cold, you think Stone Cold's gonna come in here too, man? Here we go. This Cena looks nervous. Man, when these guys are out of the business, see Rock, Rock's on a on a cycle, bro. You know, Rock's in the woods. You can see, you can tell, Cena's off the juice. And he, I mean, Cena's in great shape. Don't get me wrong, but when he had those chemical enhancers. Big, big difference. Now he's not on a, in the ring every day. So he doesn't have to keep that look going. Here we go. Oh, not the rock bottom. Come on. And he's got that People's Championship belted. But he's not wearing it in the ring. I'm glad he didn't wear that in the ring. He's got that weight belt on. He's gonna whip. He's gonna put a whipping on John Cena with that belt. And the referee, Charles. Oh, I got that's his first. His first name was Charles. I think it was his second name. All right, man, there goes Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns just nailed. He nailed somebody with a shot. Who the hell did he just fucking deck? I don't even I don't know who that was that came in. It looks like uh, Seth Rollins. Well, for some reason, I don't think so. He just lost his title. This is some strange stuff going on. Who's that dude that just came in the ring, man? But the lights are going down. Something's going to happen here. Something's about to go down. Let's see if I can. The lights are down low. The lights are coming up. The Undertaker. Oh, yeah. What would WrestleMania be without The Undertaker? What would WrestleMania be without The Undertaker? Boom! Undertaker choke slams him. And the lights go down again. Who's going to be in here this time? I'm telling you. Ref <laughs> this is amazing. This is WrestleMania. And it's just Roman Reigns. And Cody Rhodes in the ring with a chair. The Rock is gone. The Undertaker is gone. John Cena is gone. All that and they're gone. The 
This is called Grapely Goodness. Goodness, Grapely. Was it Grapely Goodness? Goodness, Grapely. Goodness, Grapely. Goodness, Grapeness. It does the job. Oh, a chair by Roman Reigns to the back of Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins has got the shield outfit on. And he's nailing just got the, once again, that Cody roll. He's, that's just, there goes the second one. And he's landing on his head and he comes down. He's going to go for three. Three is the charm. Last time he couldn't get the third one in there. This time, boom, nails him with three. Now he goes for the pin. One, two, three. Cody wins the title. Oh, Cody is the champ now, man. Yeah, baby. The new, the new heavyweight champion of the world. Cody wins it. You know, it, it, definitely an upset, man. I don't know. What did you guys think, man? Anybody there watching it? He just fucking jarring at each other out there. I do feel the love. I definitely feel the love. Charles Richardson, I think that's his name. Maybe not. Charles, Charles something. And there's Dusty's, wow, look at Dusty's wife. She forgot to put her pants on. That's okay. The new champion. I think I might even watch Raw tomorrow. And 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 check it out. Charles Robert Charles Robinson is that his name, man? I, mean, I gotta ask Google. It's starting to bug me. WWE referee Charles Robinson. According to Wikipedia, Charles Shane Robinson is an American professional wrestling senior referee and former professional wrestler. Charles Robinson. That's the man. I see this brain still works, but it's just a little bit the gears are a little bit mushy. But they get there, bro. Charles Robinson. He used to be he used to work with, with Ric Flair. He's been a referee forever. They used to call him Little Nate. And they got him out there for this all-important match. He's probably the highest paid senior referee in the, in the business. And the Uzi, they, they're showing what happened in this match. It was pretty decent, man. You got to admit it. What do you figure? Is it a thumbs up or a thumbs down match? To me, it was interesting. I'll probably not talk about it much anymore. But it was, it was, uh, and they, they're all out there congratulating with the center ring right now, man. The Undertaker. <laughs> the 60 year old Undertaker gets to come in, choke slams the rock, and that was it. He didn't have to do anything else. And anything else would fuck him up. Please. Things start to hurt when you get older. The difference between. 40 and 15 men, the difference between 50 and 60, uh, the difference between 60 and 70. <laughs> You'd be lucky to experience it. But believe me, it, it certainly it certainly has uh, has effects. But yeah, man, Dusty, Cody's in the ring. He's got his wife out there. He's got the, the rest of the, the faces that the, 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 the few good guys that are sometimes out there, not a lot of you figure they take a whole lot of women, you know, get, get them off there. But hey, maybe he doesn't have a lot of friends in the game. You never know the politics, it could be as bad as the politics of the uh, PBC or the WBC or the, uh, the game of boxing in general. But I figure all I can say is, man, it's about 10 30. 
had a great old time watching wrestling. But see, the thing is now, this might not be over. Something wrong might be happening. So we're going to wait for the end. It looks like they're um, they're all congratulating Dustin Rhodes. But I've seen uh, too many WrestleManias to, to know this is this is it. Shut the TV off. No, there's still going to be something that's going to happen here. I got a funny feeling he's either going to be attacked. There's his mom. What's that dude's name with the red hair? I can't think of his name for some reason. Once again, that that's in the back of the head. We were talking about Sammy Zayn. His name is Sammy Zayn, and he he, uh, he he won a he won a big match last night. He won the Intercontinental match against um guy's name used to be Walter. It's something else now. Big, big German guy, kind of like a Nazi, big high stepper. But there goes Dustin. Dustin is still looking for that microphone. Is is uh, Cody's mom and his wife. I don't know if that's his aunt. I don't know, man. His brother, his nephew, whatever, but you got the whole Rhodes family. So I guess we're not going to see any attack in the ring. But he's talking some shit in there. My batteries are dead in my ear, but Triple H is coming out to the ring. I don't know what Triple H is doing, but uh, something's going to be happening here. They're putting the belt on him. Triple H doesn't look too happy. He doesn't look like he can come out there to congratulate him. This reminds me of a fight that I saw when um, when, uh, when um, I ran the Blade Barkley beat Darren Van Horn for the title for the WBC. The IBF uh, super middleweight title, and um, I ran Barkley won the fight, and James Tony was at ringside, and Iran's got a big smile on his face. He just went for the belt, and James Tony comes in the ring, and Aaron, Aaron Iran Barkley puts his hand out. He thought he was going to get congratulated, and James Tony said, "I didn't come here to congratulate you. I came here to challenge you." And they almost went out of the ring. They had a tremendous match after that, but uh, I mean, Cody's got tears in his eyes right now. Triple H is probably talking about his dad, and you know, you've been waiting all your life for this, my friend. I mean, it's amazing. But, you know, these guys, wrestling is, uh, my thing just froze up in me again. Let me refresh it one more time, see if anything does happen before they... Take us out of this WrestleMania. Now he's hugging everybody. It's like, uh, is that Tom Pritchard? A lot of the people that, he, that he's been with in this game. Like I said, Cody, Cody grew up in this game. Yeah, Raw will be lit for sure at the Narrow. This was a big matchup. Mania with you and the crew. This cat. I appreciate it. Bro, you've been with me for almost the whole thing, man. It's gonna, it's gonna look good on my analytics because you know, you, I, I, I look at it after I get through here, and it tells you, you know, how many people came in and watch you, and it tells you how many watch out, but then it tells you the average watch time. And when I see that, and when that's like 10, 12, 15 minutes, I'm like, wow, that's good because that does not only mean that um, that doesn't only mean that uh, I get the 15 minutes watch time. That's the average. So that means if somebody watched me for an hour and somebody only watched me for 10 minutes, 
the average would be 30 minutes. And then, I mean, it's, it's based on the average. So a lot of people, they just come in. I do it myself. Come in, give you a thumbs up, and I'm gone. But just to support the channel a little bit. But when you stay here for a while and I get that accumulated uh, watch, accumulated hours, it's cool. But he's shaking the hands of Seth Rollins, who just lost his belt. But see, these guys know. He lost the belt. He'll get the belt back. Stick with the company. He's going to get a, a match with Seth Rollins. Who knows? In fact, oh, shit, man. And the, when this thing started, we saw we saw Drew McIntyre win a title, and then we saw Damian Priest come down and cash in his money in the bank and beat Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre only had the belt for like two minutes, maybe three minutes. I mean, awesome stuff. Yeah, Keith is. Yeah, yeah. You can tell Seth is really hurt for sure, man. You know, these guys take the time out, get the surgeries, lose their belts. But you you got you got to fulfill your obligations. Drunk freak, oh man, watch out! They're gonna block you in here, bro. I'm not in Streamyard. I'm not in Facebook. I can't even mention up. So you're at the mercy of these clowns. You gotta have respect, man. You know, it's like bringing a pea shooter to a gunfight. But it looks like it is. Uh, it looks lining down, man. I don't think Cody's going to catch that beating like a lot of these newly crowned idolists win. He wants to get out of that cold, man. Go have a, go have a, whatever it is that he drinks, man. Me, I'm water. The cameraman has probably been there for a hundred years. Looks like he knows this cat. By that watch, this guy's probably a billionaire, financier. But yeah, I appreciate all you cats that came in here, man. I've been in here for almost four hours. I had a great meal tonight, man. I old lady made me a filet mignon with a couple of stuffed claw hogs, a frozen one, but they were good. You know, it was. Mick Smith would deploy. He would he would not like this meal. Had some frozen French fries with it. Had some string beans with it. And I also had um, a piece of um of carrot cake that my wife bought me for our anniversary. And I only had a half of a half a half of a slice last night and saved the other. She had a half of a slice and saved that for tonight. But it was good, man. I didn't I, I'm not hungry at all. It's almost time to wind it down, maybe go troll around a little bit, say hi to people, see what's going on. The weekend, 14,000, 145,000 people watch WrestleMania. And my uh, my volume of it just clicked back on, but uh, I think I'm out of here. This is Bruce Gas. Boxing, jazz, and more. Let me get my right stuff going here. Peace out, my friends. I will see you. I will definitely see you on Friday for the trivia. Big prizes. It's going to be difficult. Show off your knowledge of boxing. And thank you for coming in here, man. Peace. I'm out of here. Shout out Bruce Gas, a.k.a. Token 2. You know I had to drop a track for one boy. Where you at? Yeah, I've been here wrestling boys. I've been telling the babies. the artists, no nigga. I ain't signed to no label. Hey, Bruce Gas, put the numbers right on the tape. Oh, uh, calling that box. It's Kane versus A. Sports, Bruce Gas. You think that shit was fake? I'm the people sampling. I'm an athlete. Shut up, shut up. Bruce Gas, one day we gon' meet. Yeah, we gon' pull it down. We gon' smoke a little weed. Yeah, we gon' pull it down. Let's get it. I was a token too. Slipping hella shots. I like Tyson with the people. A little Glock on my side, but it hit just like the crew. Shut up, man. She had a real shit. That's my fucking dude. We always cooking on the panel. Strap on my side. And I ain't talking about no sin. Bruce passed me the blunt. I'm gonna light it like a candle. Hey, non stop bars, man. I always fit flames.
Feel like Bruce Kipps always got a different strain. Bitch, you ain't like me. You can never feel my pain. You win and you lose. Well, this is a funny game. Don't beef on the net and the shit won't change. Said that on the street. Gotta do it for the game. Said that on the street. Gotta do it for the champ. I ain't undisputed. Yeah, hold on. I ain't undisputed, but I want all the straps. Yeah.